everybody out there. Welcome to episode 46 of Wolfpack Wednesdays. I am the host, the Jedi Night's Watch. I'm going to do something a little bit different tonight. I'm going to bring my um, my panel out here one at a time because uh, I just feel like doing something different tonight. We have a great show for you today, even though, again, another seems like another thin week on news. But we have Jack Sparrow to talk about. We have that arc trooper that's getting a lot of hype that we're going to talk about i have some questions and topics for these guys that we need to answer tonight and without further ado let's bring out one fourth of the wolf pack and it is delo the doubter what is going on my friend how are you tonight Ooh, too sweet, going on down there? Too sweet. yeah a little rainy season had a little power outage early today thankfully we're a-okay i lost the light gonna have to do a warranty claim later tomorrow but i'm ready for the effing show bro too sweet good i'm ready too man too sweet happy wednesday to you happy wednesday and bro having said that let's bring out our other bra and that is evil sneaker the spiffy looking evil sneaker who has his maju space mono behind him we're going to talk about that tonight too i want to get your guys's thoughts on the panel as well as in the chat a lot of you have commented on sneaker and my videos on that and um I think it's going to be really good, and I think it's going to be a hot ticket. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. But we do have, well, first of all, how are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. Got my Uber Trooper coming tomorrow. Very excited about it. Cannot wait. <laughs> Cannot freaking wait, baby. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Excited for the show. Excited for the show. But yeah, coming tomorrow I, already. Very excited. Excited to have you. And and no Brick tonight. Brick is on holiday. Um, he's got some family in town, so he's taking the night off. Um, he might be in and out of the chat, so make sure you guys say hello to him if you see him lingering around. But we do have a very special guest, and it is Calvin, the low-key collector himself. Ooh. You might uh, have seen him around. He's on tons of streams. Uh, we did a um, one of my fa- one of our favorite streams was the um, the DeLorean unboxing together. Something that has never been done prior or since we made youtube history we unboxed three deloreans at the same time um and calvin was part of that so it's finally good to have you on sir thank you so much for being here how are you i appreciate it uh, i'm doing well I'm a good day today um and you've been after me for months trying to get me on so but i'm usually <laughs> on you know in another show on wednesday night right. so i'm like i think you hit me in a chat on whoever stream it was last week and you're like yo when you come in? Oh, i'm there <laughs> next week if i can just put me on next okay week. Happy I, can. Yeah, I know uh, it worked out. So I know you're part of Lael's crew, so I never want to like push that either. Like I know you guys, you know, you got your thing there, and I never like to get in the middle of anything. But it's nice to just have you on, you know, here and there as a as a special guest and Wolfpack yeah. member as well. Appreciate you guys as always. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love these guys as well. So I'm uh, Brick hit me earlier this morning. It's like, bro, you would come on the night I'm not coming. I'm like. <laughs> You're a quarter of the show that I'm looking forward to seeing tonight. But <laughs> yeah. Family, I understand, but break. Look forward to seeing you uh, later on. What's up, Joey? What's up, fellas? Yeah. So b- before we get into it here, let's just check in with the chat as we do each and every single week. So guys, make sure that you say hello to us, and um, we'll make sure we say hello back. We got Luke Christian in the house. Let's go. Wolfpack saves the day when all other channels haven't uploaded videos for the day and I'm bored as hell at work. We are here to save you. Nice. So hopefully we can keep you entertained. Brick Artemis says, happy Wednesday. We got Collector Joey says, I'm early. Um, but there's no such thing as too early. Um, thank you for being here, Joey. Hope your move is going well. Um, can't wait to see the new the new house. Um, we got uh, Plizkin Inc., uh i'm from sweden so it's the middle of the night here well thank you so much for staying up late with us and being a part of the wolf pack we got joven hello there uh but i have some beers so i will try to keep awake i know um i was on with shane yesterday for um one six figure focus for an episode of visions and he was drinking a beer because he's like five hours ahead and it was like three o'clock here i'm just like eh, i can't and and I haven't really been drinking other than Wolfpack Wednesdays, just trying to get a little bit healthier. And I'm just happy that I can uncork one here tonight with you guys. So yeah. we're going to let our hair down figuratively and uh, we're going to have some fun. TX Boy 210 Evening Collectors. Hello, hello. We got Batman Collectibles. Good evening. I need to see this guy's collection too. He's got a ton of Batman vehicles. 
Very cool. Brad, my friend from the UP. Good evening. Too sweet to you, my friend. Christian Cooper. Hello, hello. If anybody, anybody out there is willing to part with a crosshair <laughs> for a reasonable price, please let Christian know he is in the market. If uh, if if crosshair just isn't doing it for you, help a brother out. We got one six GJ. Evening all. Hello and thank you for being here, my friend. X Man Supreme. Always good to have this guy here. We have action in the box. A channel member. He says, Ahoy, uh, my hearties. Let the stars be your guide on this fine eve. Savvy? Drink up me buckos for the night holds treasures untold. Captain Jack Sparrow. Hell Calvin, yeah. are you a fan of Pirates of the Caribbean? I, I'm a, you know, Disneyland's up the street for me. So I'm a huge, that's one of my favorite rides of all time at the park. And we're, I'm there all the time. So um, I'm jealous. I gotta blame, I gotta blame Mario. Uh, he dropped a bug in my ear, but I did, never had a Jack in my um, collection. And he dropped it in my ear. And once I get my mind on something, I don't usually let it go until I like, acquire it some way, somehow. And so I kept looking, finally found a deal on it. And um, so I think I got the DX15. That's the one with the shark base. Nice. Yep. But I, I can't remember what country. Was it Australia? I don't remember what the country was, but another guy was selling the whole rudder and the flag from the first one solo. Mm. And so I got that for a good deal. So I got both of them in the case together. Damn. So nice. To be honest, both of the figures, though, look really good because I've had both and I currently have the DX6. But even that, I mean, I, I think it stands the test of time. It looks good. We'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, man, to, to be that close to Disney is pretty cool, too. I would, I would probably do that sure. all the time, too. Dangerous. That's what I say. I, yeah, that's true. Uh, Universal Key is here. Welcome, welcome. We got Brandon Primetime Reviews and Channel Member. Yo, what's good, everyone? Nick's Collectibles, what's up with you, sir? Thanks for coming in. We got Cylon, another channel member. Hello, everyone. Too sweet to you. And happy Wednesday. Raiden says bonjour. And I'm not going to attempt the rest of that, but bonjour to you too, my friend. Uh, one Adam 12. Hey, guys. Wolfpack Wednesday time. Hope all is well. It's good. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to do this show each and every week. It brings us joy, um, especially in the middle of the week when you just kind of need that lift me up a little bit. So it's it's good to be here. Daniel, hello, my friend. Uh, prayers have been answered with Jack. Dude, seriously, out of left field. I, I was not expecting that at all. I remember when Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were doing their trial and the, the figure was getting hot right and then people were also like well you know they're probably never going to make this again so you know you might as well grab it now and here we are maybe what a year year and a half later crazy tighter fl what's up everyone we got austin nicholas in the house what's going on everyone i'm excited for this live stream excited to have you here sir thank you for being here so the awesome. movie canon hello geo evening collectors um he says, Wolfpack and Mr. Calvin. Go check out the Movie Cannon's uh, channel as well. Brick ventures over there quite a bit, and he does have some pretty cool streams. Very entertaining, so go hit him up. As well as the guys on this panel um, have all of their channels and or IGs as well. We got uh, Queso Blanco here as well, another channel member. Uh, I'm at work. I'll jump on later to catch the replay. Appreciate you, my friend. What's going on, Stacy? Good evening, collectors. Hello from Saskatoon. Well, look who it is, Kelvin. Yes, yes. We got him. We got him. Got him, baby. Striker 47, good evening, Wolfpack crew. Can't wait for Godzilla tomorrow. 4DX, 3D. Hope people will have their accounts ready and able for the Jack Sparrow War with that artisan. Yes. I'm cautiously optimistic, but I've been screwed a lot on that sideshow queue. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, Brick says, nice to see Loki on. Wish I could be on tonight. You're in our hearts, sir. In our hearts. Lucifer, I think a trade for Calvin is a win. <laughs> Sorry, Brick. <laughs> Damn. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Well, wow. They don't call him Lucifer Manners. for nothing. They don't, Manners, call, bro. They, don't, they don't call him Lucifer for nothing. <laughs> Uh, we got how you figure in the house another uh loyal channel member what's up everyone man looks like there ended up being a pretty big announcement huh guys it almost as if someone predicted it this is going to be an amazing show hope everyone is well <laughs> last week if you guys were here how you figure was like there's going to be an announcement just be ready just be ready and when jack sparrow came i'm like oh you're only like four days too early but uh you're right yeah <laughs> 
I got Tracy, Tracy Huffman. Hey, my second time here. Well, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Hopefully you enjoy the show. And um, again, you guys in the chat are what makes this show go. So again, be active and um, shoot us questions, shoot us thoughts, shoot us opinions. Safeful, yo, yo, what's going on? Thank you for being here. Um, Hammer of God, always good to have you here as well. Hello there. Uh, Sneaker, you know what would look great in your mono? Four Landos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Even one. Man. We would That's take one. one. Very good one. That's common so far. Yeah. Very Speaking good. Speaking of vehicles, my waitlist just converted <laughs> for the 95. Now that it's out, I have to get it. Calvin, you have that 95, right? I believe it's here tomorrow. Damn. Nice. And I'm at work tomorrow, so I won't get it till Friday. So. Mm. But, but still. It, it was stuck in France over the weekend. I believe it just left Indiana. Trust me, I've been tracking this every like hour on the hour. So. Where would you rank that on your favorite Batmobiles? <laughs> How that's high? The that's How the thought of having too many Batmobiles. <laughs> as, as I'm looking at them right now, um, I've always been a sucker for lights, so I might put that number two or three. Interesting. After eighty nine, just that that the exoskeleton of the lights, like the rib cage lit, lit up. I think that that's that's always held a special place for me. So. Sure. As I'm thinking all the all the rest of them, they're all great in their own way, but that none of them might have liked that. I uh I just couldn't get over and I've said this in the past, but I just couldn't get over what they did to the eighty nine Batmobile to go from that to that. So I've always been kind of a hater, but I can see why people like it. Um it's pretty pretty interesting. Ninety seven is on the bottom of the list though. I those lights I, were I honestly don't remember what that looks like. I never cared for that one. The whole movie is forgetful. Calvin's a crip. I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> uh, thank you, yeah. man. Uh, so, day, you never know. I may, I have several photos I'm into. So, what uh, do you like? Are you a football fan? Niners, baby. You know this. We've Niner. got our bells. We've got our bells. I remember one time I hit on oh, actually this last uh, playoffs. I was like, you know, we ain't friends today, right? That's right. I forget. Yeah. So. I'm like a obviously Packers diehard, but like I love Justin Herbert. So like Chargers fan, like not, I don't even know if I'd say fan, but I like watching them. I liked watching them with Herbert and Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. They're exciting. And now they've kind of like, I just hope they have enough to support <laughs> Herbert because he's my boy. So we'll see. My, my so brother. Josh, so is Josh Allen. So is the name five other QBs. Hey, right. yep. I play <laughs> dynasty football. I love those guys. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure we didn't miss anybody. I think we're getting there. We got Jose Hernandez in the house. What's going on, my friend? Um, good to see you with the Wolfpack, Calvin. Um, uh, but when can we pre-order Jack? So make sure you RSVP on Sideshow, and then they will announce it. Do they? What they give you like two couple days notice? Usually, it depends. Like I feel like the other artisans were like a week or ten days, maybe. I want to say like 10 days. So Remember Anakin was 10 days. Start by going and RSVPing for sure. We got uh, Paul Antor. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button. We got 51 in the house to start. I want to hit 100. So let's see if we can do that tonight. Let's see if Calvin's our good luck charm. Uh Oh, you guys are talking to each other. We got Eddie Rodriguez in the house. Hello, my friend. Scary picture, but thank you for being here. We got AZ Figs joining us tonight. Hello and welcome. We got Darth Kibbles stopping in to say, hey, I will catch the show on replay as I'm driving the family to Disney tonight for spring break. That's right. Spring break is for many people out there. So um, good for you. I'm going to Disney. Was it, was it Disneyland or Disney? Disney World. World. Disney. Yeah, let us know which one you're going to. Uh, Pretty sure it's oh, Disney World. On. East Coast, right? I always get those two confused. Is Disney World on the East Coast and Disneyland on the West yes. Coast? Or is it? Yeah, because yeah. okay. World yeah. is bigger with like Epcot and all that stuff. Yep. That's right. I live in the state and I still don't know. 
Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not a Disney guy. You know, I'm more of a Universal guy. I enjoy Universal Studios more than Disney. I think it's a little bit more. I went to Universal. Me and my wife did everything while we were out there for vacation. Um, Universal was amazing. Was I'm a big fan of that. Our Hollywood one is nice, but you guys are nice. I, I do like um, Disney World. I'm just spoiled. But Disneyland, everything's right there. I can just sure. walk from spot to spot to spot. I've never yet. I would. I think it'd be better if I, I went out there for sure. The, the castle was phenomenal. But other than that, I think we still have the original feel. So I still was like constantly judging everything. And I was like, yeah, I still like home more than anything else. But there were still things that they have there that are like, shit, I wish we had the space for that out here. Yeah, we're definitely blessed with space for sure. I mean, I mean, they own pretty much half of Orlando, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A couple more people joining us here. We got uh, Flavio's House of Collectibles. Hopefully, you're healing up, brother. Thank you for being okay, here. Yeah, Flavio. We got uh, uh, Figure Craft, Calvin oh, in the house. What's going I on? Haven't really? I haven't had the pleasure to meet my man yet, but looking forward to meeting Figure Craft. Really yeah. Cool. I've, I've seen him popping up here and there lately, and seems like a, yeah, he's a really cool guy. I just drove by his house this morning. So I'm, I'm sure. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's in the San Diego area. So That's cool. Um, let's see. We got L Walker. Shout out to the panel. What up, Calvin? I haven't had the pleasure to meet yet. What's up, Larry? How you doing, sir? Yeah, Christian says Epcot is the goat. Epcot was dope. And as a real traveler, to be able to walk from country to country in minutes as opposed to having to fly all over the place. Right. Was... All right. We are caught up. 56 in the house again. Do us a favor on the way in. Hit that like button so um, you can tell youtube that you like what we're doing and other people can find us as well it does really help the channel out a lot i want to start with a little bit of an icebreaker boys i want to do so i again i was on i was on shane's channel yesterday afternoon if you guys haven't watched that go watch it was a lot of fun just kind of hanging out with him something i don't get to do a lot of because he is in ireland so it's kind of opposite time zones um so we made it work but um he asked me a question that i really liked and it was kind of fun answering so i want to ask you three and you guys in the chat as well your house is on fire right oh, we always God. ask we always but well, so we always ask what are the three you'll save right this one's going to be a little bit different so he he spun it around or somebody in the chat actually did and they said um a demon sets your house on fire god forbid right but um you have to sacrifice three figures to save the rest of your collection so what 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 three figures would you sacrifice to save the rest? For me, it was um, it was the armor. I like the figure, but at the same time, I I could stand to lose it if I had to. And then I think the next one for me was rescue. One of those that you know again the character doesn't like mean a ton in my heart, um, but she's cool and I got her for a hell of a deal. And then the third one. Um, to brick sadness was was robin just because i'm not a huge fan of the movie you can't really do much with the figure um does look very nice but if i had to um it'd be for the greater good so those were the three that i picked off the top of my head i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to to really pick anything else um mm. so so that those were my three i want to start with sneaker because he looks like he might he might have something in his in his head there. So, what three figures, sir, would you sacrifice to save the rest? I would sacrifice the incinerator trooper for Mando. Mm. Okay. Uh, probably the scout, a, probably the I'm, scout trooper from Mando as well. I was gonna say, I think we're gonna get a lot of troopers from you. I think scout trooper as well, and then like, what if we have doubles of a figure? Cause like I would just sacrifice That's a, a cheat code. Can't do I would that. just yeah. sacrifice a no. uh, um, one clone trooper. Cause not I have to. today's Overruled. question. Yeah. Uh, Pick another sir. Carnage. No. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely <laughs> not the marshal. Definitely, definitely not the marshal. Just his head sculpt. Ooh. Put the maybe potentially like like Death Watch Mandalorian would be maybe mm. one that I would. Okay. Like, I like that figure, but, like, I could probably... Those are, like, the more kind of generic ones, non-named. I could probably... That, that's what I would have to do. How about you, D-Lo? 
Uh, I would say first one would be Vision. Would be probably the first one. I'd Sacrifice. Followed by Captain Marvel. And Which, which one? Would, the Endgame one. Just because okay. that's what I have. I mean, if okay. either one would be fine. I, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Captain Marvel. And um, probably being on the Trooper. I would probably get rid of one of my... Um, one of my short troopers, one maybe the uh, which one's the one with the the cape at the bottom? Was it the commando or uh, not the captain? Cap- right? Captain, no, captain's the the rogue one. Captain's one. the goat. Yeah, uh, captain's the goat. goat. Squad leader. Wait, what are you, you squad say? leader? I think it's called. Squad yeah, squad leader with the thin, with the thin, just the thin yeah. blue stripe. Right. Yeah. So squad leader. Yeah. Mm. That's it. And it and for both of you guys, is it just because those are the ones that just. You just don't have that strong connection with them, assuming. Don't mean as much. I like Troopers. the characters. Like so the trooper situation, I mean, I I got a favorite. I think the the captain's the best looking one. So that's that's an easy. I got three different ones to play around, so that's an easy one. Captain Marvel and Vision, I actually like his characters, but I just don't think their figures are great. So hmm. I was kind of left left wanting more with them. The material on Captain Marvel, if you bend her elbows, that's it. It's just the wrinkles don't bounce back like a spider-man so i was like that's kind of disappointing mm. prime time uh, has that one he just got it in today and he said it's it's yeah it's thick like um iron spider like that kind of material like they yeah can't really do yeah. anything with so congratulations yeah <laughs> mine has not been trooper. posed and will not be posed calvin how about you you got to sacrifice three figures to save the rest the mandarin uh my third party doc Ock. And um, he's thinking. When you start the show, so tough. One of one of these Spider Man. I got to meet them Spider Man. <laughs> Just one of them. <laughs> yeah, whatever one. <laughs> I'm throwing one. I'll throw one of the mix. How long? How long have you been collecting, Calvin? Married six years coming up. So right before I got married. So okay. Maybe. Right, 2017. We got married in 18, so that's about the time Delo uh, started, right? Seven-ish yep. years. That's right. And and Calvin, how many figures roughly do you think you have? No clue, and I, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you ever think about space, like space as being an issue, or you just figure it out when the time comes, or how do you kind of forecast some of that stuff? Space is now an issue, just because of what I have. Like I said, one's coming in tomorrow, and I have another two Batman going on, t- on top of that with 89 and 22 coming in. Vehicles, man, Damn, bro. I they think I, I don't have any other Prime 1 pieces ordered as of now, but I think there's like two or three that I really, really want and have no clue mm-hmm. where I'd go for. But, yeah, once you start getting the third, it's the third scale and the vehicles that really take up the space. Because I still right. have like, I've got DeLorean, you know, on top of two jazz jazz angle bills and a tumbler on top of the other three that like I said that are coming in so that's where space starts uh, coming an issue for me so I, I feel it man I I mean these vehicles are amazing but really it's up. almost like taking the place of like 20 figures you know so it's uh it's tough I mean I I don't know if I'm gonna get another vehicle I, I have the tumbler the DeLorean and the 89 Batmobile I mean I have a couple bikes but they're not nearly as big, so I'm almost thinking I'm tapped out. Dilo, you think you might want one more vehicle? Just the no, 89? I do want 89. I'm going to get that. And that's Is it. that going to be like it off. for you? or? Yeah, just because, it, like you said, it, it takes up so much room. And so I know I'm sacrificing room to get that, but it's I have too strong of a connection to pass up on this. So I'm, I'm right. going to do it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's definitely coming home. I do have a question for you, Cal, if, you, if you've got a second oh. here. How many vehicles do you have in total now? So far, okay, like officially in total, one, two, three, four. Yeah, officially in total. I've got, um, I don't know if this is a 10th scale or 12th scale, uh, the um, animated version, and I have an 89 Lego Ooh. version now. Okay, so, I'll so allow it. Version. So, I just so, I want to recycle seven, Graham's question seven as of right now, with another three in the way. Recycle Graham's question, same question, but only oh. one. Which one would you? Would you sacrifice? Yeah, get, rid of, get rid of eighty nine Lego because the the real version is coming in. 
I never thought I'd ever get that version, a chance at that version. So I jumped on that. But that's an easy one. Get rid of that one. I'll probably just get rid of one. Like, wait, did we say doubles? Just, just one, man. No, we're not doing the doubles thing here. We're not. <laughs> we're not skipping that there. So no doubles. Just, oh, just, just one. One. Oh, then just that, one. Just the Lego, the Lego version, and that'd be. Easy. Yeah. Brick is somewhere right now punching a wall here in that answer. To <laughs> <laughs> but, Mother. But that 110, was it centimeters coming in? I, you know, I gotta go with the big one. Yeah. You know, I hear you, brother. I hear you, man. Brick is like, I said all these nice things at the beginning of the show, and this is how it repays me. Look at that. Okay. I appreciate your honesty, though. Very appreciate hey, your honesty. You can call me many things, but I tell no lies. So. Wait, hold on. Go back to that Lando comment. <laughs> Sneaker had those four Landos. This scenario wouldn't be a problem. Oh, for this is good. This is gold right here. Well, <laughs> well said. Well said. <laughs> oh, I got to keep it rolling. Gotta keep it rolling. <laughs> Sacrifice old Ben. Ooh. Ben Kenobi? All right, Gio's just stirring the pot. No. <laughs> Stop, Gio. Yeah, no, no, no. Take with that you. back. Brick would be Snowsuit Black Widow, Qui Gon. Gut, gut Widow. <laughs> gut Widow. <laughs> Brick's got, yeah, the snowsuit and Qui Gon. not a big fan of the, and Ahsoka? Damn. the proportions. Damn. That's messed up. I gave him that Ahsoka. <laughs> it's like you, you had a deal. You can't pal. be mad at me. Uh, let's see. Steve buys That's double funny. so he can take the easy way out during the games like this. Oh, you, you know, Justin. Come on. You know your boy. I, here. I actually don't have that many doubles. The only doubles I have is Clone Trooper, 501st Clone Trooper. And then I guess if you want to count like Chrome Mando, because I have like the OG on the swoop bike, I really don't have that many doubles. Hmm. Yeah, well, good. Yeah, Justin. All right, sorry. <laughs> Mando tank guy, flamethrower guy, <laughs> scout trooper. Uh, let's see. Death trooper. Uh, Sideshow's Luke Skywalker, endgame Captain Marvel. Yeah, the jokes are real tonight. They're hitting hard. I don't know if this is helping you possibly <laughs> buy him or pushing you further away. I'll just keep him coming. The, 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 the more it happens, the more I'm just... Put prolonging <laughs> we're, we're uh, getting it, close to 2027 like, keep messing me let's see who wins first you or me i won't blink this guy the boy says i would uh, sacrifice my wife's collection so mine would make it damn talk about a guy who doesn't believe in no win scenarios right there damn right <laughs> the house burns down and you're sacrificing your wife's stuff Damn. <laughs> Damn. That is real, brother. That That's is gonna real. be a real rough like hotel stay when you uh <laughs> contemplating what you've done. <laughs> so which one would you guys save first? Just pick one that you just pops into your head you're gonna grab first. Anybody can jump in, just jump. Oh, easy one for me here. It's not even it's not even a figure, it's a vehicle. Shout out to my DeLorean. Still top of my list. It's got to be Crosshair, right? I mean, so I can <laughs> sell him and get, get the rest of the bad batch. <laughs> it's got to be Crosshair. It's just, yep. So I can replenish yeah, my funny. collection? Yeah. <laughs> that's tough. How about you guys? I'd probably go like, yeah, I'd probably grab my 22 Batmobile just so if I wanted to replenish some stuff, like <laughs> I could sell it and replenish. <laughs> that's really the play. Oh, wait, don't want it. Even though it's like eight pounds, I got to run down the stairs with it, but... <laughs> slings it over his shoulder oh man hopefully that never happens to anybody yeah <laughs> seriously no we got jazzy in the house what's going on my friend Love jazzy. Hey, another another guy so real quick story my wife had me at the winery and i think jazzy was like oh you're in my area my wife was like mind you she'd been drinking she was like Let's go to his house. I was like, I haven't oh, met man. Man yet. I don't. I can't just roll up at his house. Like, hey, what's going on? I'm like, hey. He's like, we can do it. I was like, I'll catch him another time. Man, it's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel lucky to have brick and, and sneaker right around here. But man, yeah, all those Californians. Yeah, been, uh, soak, soak well, soak well. Because I drive, I get to uh, meet up with my guys up north. So Danny sure. Lee, Marco, uh, Dan reviews. So I catch them and then, but in the vicinity, like. Um, uh geo um 
movie canon. I thought he was more so in Orange County, which is over by Disneyland where Mario is. But he just told me he's like probably like 15 minutes from me. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just making sure I can, you guys are killing it in the chat, so I'm just gonna have to keep moving here just a little bit. But um, thank you guys for for playing the game. And uh, again, yeah, hopefully that's not something we ever have to worry about. Keep your figures safe if you do have the CCFLs. Just make sure, just make sure you're taking care of them. I, I know Calvin's got like everything lit up, so I can't imagine. I'd probably be a little bit nervous with with all that heat going on, but but you manage, I've huh? Never, I've never had an issue with them, and it, obviously with the module cases, I never. If I open up, you know, one of the panels, I can smell like the sulfur smell. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I just make sure all the tips are clear of anything else. They're always right. like, in an area where they're not touching anything. Have mm -hmm. it on the lowest setting. I I don't really feel heat when they're on the lowest setting, but I, can I haven't had an it. issue. I, I don't I don't mm -hmm. feel it. I can just smell it. I can smell like a little sulfur smell, but. Never had any issues. Makes me a little nervous. <laughs> but you have a lot more than I do, too. So, you know, yours could be combining and then. Because like, it's all in the same spacing. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Because I, I, only have, I only have four and only three are hooked up right now. I think it's 11 or 12 I have in there. And then in my Mando section, I've got one. Um, Chris still a blaster for me as well. So. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Do you guys have like a time limit that you guys feel safe keeping those on for? Just as far as like. I, only when I'm in the room, I turn it on. And even sometimes, even then, like even with like the, the bat wing being lit up, uh, sometimes mm -hmm. I'll be in here. I'll just have my regular lights on in here. I won't need the full lighting going on. So I'm just mindful about it. But if while I'm in here, I have it on, but I don't ever leave without it. And it's on voice command. So even if I was home, away from home and my wife said something came on, I can always turn it off. With That's that. cool. That's good. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I never have any of my lights on when I'm not in the room, even just to conserve power. But like I um, my CCFLs, I'll leave on maybe at times for like an hour, to maybe two hours. Um, but that's usually it. I don't even have them on right now. Like if if these cases were in the background, I'd probably have them on. So that obviously, you know, you guys could kind of see them. But since I can't see them right now and nobody's watching them, I just don't have them lit up either. I just have my cases lit up. So. But yeah, always just be responsible, and I, I don't have them on if I'm not in the room. Speaking of cases, I did a uh, a review and a test, if you will, about these um, the Maju Space Mono. So again, if if you guys, a lot of you've probably watched um, and you've given me your thoughts, but um, this is the new prototype from Maju Space. So it's it's meant to be like Obviously, the DTOFs are discontinued, so this is meant to kind of take the place of that, give you another option in the Maju space, the Maju case world. You know, we're so used to having the big cases, but this is nice because it's either something you can use like as an accent, or maybe you don't have the space. Like maybe if I have something like behind me, I could put a couple of them behind me. So it's it's meant for that or, or just to kind of replace the DTOFs. I think it's a good idea. Obviously, again, this is the prototype, so I talked about things that um, I'd like to see Brian um, fix, and he's very receptive to that, and he's gonna, you know, fix those things. Um, Sneaker was lucky enough to get um, a case as well, and he did a video, so you can go check his out too. But I just I want to get you guys on the panel's thoughts, and also I want your guys' in the um, in the chat's thoughts on this too. Um, so it's it's a little bit bigger than a Detoff itself. My box was beat to hell. Look at this. Damn. Um, and then, like, like, they arrived. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, on the side. Yeah, it's just, the side, like, I was like, they arrived uh, symbol? Damn, that's, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't believe, uh, I couldn't believe nothing was broken. But um, he didn't send us any, any instructions because he just wanted to see if we could put it together. It wasn't too bad. Um, the only thing I had to guess on at first was putting these metal brackets on um, just because... Typically, they're for joining cases together, mm -hmm. and I just figured, well, we're not joining anything, so it makes sense to just support this this wood here. So um, it turns out I was right about that. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, man, peeling the plexiglass is a mm -hmm. bitch. Always a nightmare. And yep. uh, I 
did not miss that. It doesn't tear very well. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, we got together. Um, the, the shelves are, it's kind of a catch 22. You know, you can adjust the shelves to whatever height you want. So if you have statues in here, quarter scale figures, or maybe a carnage or something like that, you know, you got, you can adjust those, but the problem is you have to do it manually. So you have to adjust all four of the brackets and then, you know, make sure the shelf is level and, and kind of go from there. But, um, I, I'd rather have that than fixed shelves in general where I'm kind of locked in. Um, so I'll get your guys' opinions about that too. Um, the, they have like these long, well, here's the channel here, but they have um, just long vertical lights that go down the front sides of the cabinet itself. And then here it is lit up. So it's got felt shelves, but then on the other side, you can just switch it to the black laminate. They're also going to be having plexiglass shelves that you can put instead if you you know you want that to be able to see the downward um, figures easier some people were saying like i think the bevels are a little bit too thick but if they were thinner you'd see the lights um, I, some people don't like that it's almost like a detoff where the top and bottom are wider i kind of like it because it looks like a nice piece of furniture as opposed to just like a practical box um, so i was actually a fan of that the lights are too bright and uh, I'll let Sneaker speak on that when we get to him. Um, but here's just some different angles here. So I do have the measurements as well. It's um, 66 inches tall, 17.3 wide, and then 16 inches deep. It's going to be quite a bit bigger than the Bleedens here, uh, which I kind of pinned it against that as well. Delo, you have Maju cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you Thank checked you. this video this video out. Um, we're we're still looking at a a firm price point, so we don't know that quite yet. But what are your thoughts on this? Is this something you like? What would you change about it? Do you ever see yourself getting one of these? Yeah, actually, I like it a lot. I really do. I I've seen some of the comments and some of the concerns, and I can see some of that there. I'm sure some modifications and stuff that it'll. It'll meet everybody's needs a little bit more. Personally, for me, as an owner of a Maja case now, and coming from Detoffs, coming from every IKEA piece of furniture you can think of until I eventually graduated to Maja cases, I wish this was around when I was collecting in the beginning, if I'm being honest, because with the money that I spent on on the Detoff stuff, the lights, and all the extra stuff that I, I did to modify it to my liking, I much rather just have a complete package product in my opinion. Sure. Like I think that's the better way. I think this is a game changer. I think I think collectors are super lucky something like this is here because there is something really charming about the Detoff. And even now being a Magic Case owner, I still admire and I wish I still had that centerpiece style product that I can showcase some of my favorite figures, you know, just give them the spotlight cuz you know we always like we always think about that stuff. You know, we got our top shelf figures. We got our ones in the bottom that we don't, you know, care about as much as the others. So this is a great product for those customers there, for those customers who like to showcase their, their favorite figures and have something like this. Now, I think the biggest controversy, and I wouldn't even call it a controversy. I think it's just a matter of perspective. I think it's, let's, let's talk about it here. Let's be up front of the price. The price is kind of high in the eye of the collector. Right. I disagree. I disagree because on average, let's say depending on how your style of, of um, you know, setting up your collection is, you can have a minimum of four figures in here or maybe as much as three, depending on how you position and pose everything here. Now, that is projected to be about $300 a shelf. So that's $1,200 worth of products in your display. Now, this is much well, more well built than a detoff is just because from my experience with Magic case these things are really well made and i feel a lot better it's it can sleep a lot better knowing that my figures are in a case like this so a miniature version of this with a mono keeping that there minimum to my minimum twelve hundred dollar investment i'd rather pay the 200 plus dollars for that and have peace of mind knowing that my, my collection is safe as opposed to taking a shot on $60 case that I jerry rigged myself and hope nothing shakes too well and then it, it messes up. So right. no no hit against the Detoff or the uh the new one blah 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 Ladins. Blah, 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 but um <laughs> I, like that's exactly what I said. No <laughs> no disrespect to any of those there, but I think 
for what we collect, I think it's super underrated to find something that is a long-term solution to your display needs as opposed to going with something that it's a good start. There's nothing wrong. I started with a Detolf too, so I'm not hating on mm -hmm. it there. But I think it's important as you grow as a collector and your collection grows, you, what you displayed in, it should go with you. That's just my two cents about that there. So sure. when you factor in what a $1,200 investment is inside your case, $200 plus, in my opinion, I think it's a fair price to ask for something that you know from reputation alone and every other collector who has no Magic Case already, that it's built to last. And there's nothing right. funny about it there. My only critique is I wish they had the, is it going to be acrylic? Um, it's going to be yeah. acrylic shelves going yep. forward. I uh, wish well, that you can you can sell you can do acrylic if you want, but I believe it's an extra purchase. They'll sell. I would rather that would. I wish that was standard. That's my only sure. critique. I wish that was standard instead. Other than that, I love this. I really do. If my um, wife would let me display stuff in the in the living room, I'd pick this up. Be nice. One one of these on each side of the TV. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, the shelves can hold twenty two pounds, which is amazing. My Bleedens hold seven. Um, obviously, the plexiglass would be a lot, it would be less, but he's testing out thicker plexiglass so that that weight limit is is a little bit higher. Um, Pligskin says, "How much? Twelve hundred? No, he's saying if you had twelve hundred dollars worth of figures, why not spend two hundred, a little bit over two hundred to showcase them? So this is possibly going to be around the two twenty range. Brian hasn't um, solidified that yet. I have told him about some people's concerns about price, but." Then again, if I'm doing something like this to the Blaliden, I'm spending 195 to do just the same thing that the the, the Mono has here. And I, I really do think the build quality, like you said, deal is a lot better on the Mono. Like the IKEA stuff is nice, but it's it's flimsy, it's thin, it's warped. Um, you know, and you're not gonna have any of those issues with the Mono itself. So again, this is just to go over because it is something new. It's another, it's nice to have, um, options out there when you're looking for display especially because a lot of people don't have a lot of space so this is just something you guys can either say oh it looks great or no i'm passing i'm good with what i have you know there's no pressure to to sell anyone here it's really just to get the word out that there is something new coming and it is going to be fairly limited probably within the first year 200 batches 200 limited batches so limited to 200 quantity batches um every eight weeks ish so um before i let sneaker go here Calvin, what are your thoughts on this? What do you think about the price? What do you think about the build? Is it something that intrigues you? Is this something that you would pass on? It has me intrigued just because, like, I'm looking at a space right here that I feel like I could fit one. Um, more than anything else, I'm loving the, the lighting on it. The one the one dilemma I constantly ran into was lighting with the detoffs. Now, this is before we knew about loop lights. Sure. I, they were out at the time. And um, so I was doing Home Depot lighting. I was doing Amazon lighting. Here, man. It didn't have wires all over the place. It just never looked clean like this. So I love that it, it's just too simple, you know, long time. Their lighting is great as it is already. I, I've got plenty of them in here. So I know that they light up well. So I love that off the top. Um, but like Dilo said, I, I, because I have so much ensemble cast pieces in all my displays, I don't have anything like any solo pieces. Sure. I would be somewhere I could just have like, you know, like um, like how Shane has his um, Mark Six and Mark One War Machine as a tandem. Just just those two, you know, or I could just do um, Jack Sparrow on one case or just right. things like that. Or, you know, like a, a Neo or something like, like that. A showcase, just, basically. A couple solo pieces because everything yeah. I have is all ensemble cast throughout the room so i like it for that reason right there what do you what do you think about the price if this were 220 plus maybe 25 dollars of shipping i think that's easy i mean shit with detox are what 120 now i think they went that's, I, stopped, I think i stopped buying the detox a long time ago and so. they're discontinued so you're not gonna be able to, oh, to get so them anyway 60 bucks but the blolitans are 80 if you don't have lighting or dust proofing or you know anything like that okay yeah i mean Cause I think I'm looking to get another two, maybe three one twenties from sure. so 200 bucks is I think that's easy. That's paid. And, and, and I think something that people were maybe getting confused about too, is like shipping import prices and stuff. So again, this is going to ship from the U S so 
You don't have to worry about it shipping from Singapore. You're paying for UPS, basically from California to wherever you live. I'm in Wisconsin. He said it'd be about 25 for me, so possibly 30 to the East Coast-ish. Um, so that's what you're going to be paying for shipping. It's not like buying Maju cases. These are going to be <clears throat> in 200 quantity batches roughly every eight weeks. So I understand the, that people that have purchased that are frustrated with waiting, you know, I, I understand that completely. Um, Maju Space is a small company with a high demand right now. So it's, it is hard for him to kind of keep up with that high demand. Um, he is working on different ways to kind of alleviate that. But I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't get into the business. I'm just an affiliate. I just recommend it because it's a product that I have and that I love. So, um, but just to kind of put people's minds at ease, it is going to be about eight weeks um, between batches here. So, Sneaker, I want to turn it over to you. I know you tested this out too and, and have it as well. So what do you think or what do you want to just get, get out there? Maybe that you've been using it for almost a week now. Like anything changed or... Have you noticed anything different? Yeah, sure. I think like I've gotten a lot of questions too. I'm sure you have too, Graham. One thing I want to just want to mention because you were talking about the shipping too is I'm pretty sure you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like US and Singapore only at release. Yes. So yep. you can't get it in any other country, unfortunately, right? When it's releasing. Right. Good call. Yeah. Um, but so unfortunately, yeah, for other international collectors, this isn't going to be an option right away. But that was just something that was top of mind. As far as the lights go, because I know a lot of people have been commenting. I, that's one of the biggest things is they the lights don't look right. They need to fix the lighting. So talking to Brian about that with a lot of feedback, he is planning on including an actual dimmer. That's a full knob dimmer. So you can dim the white light down or up as high as you want. So this will be awesome. max brightness on the light. And you'll have a full, a full turn dimmer to go as low as you want or high as you want on the case, which I think is awesome. I think that was like one of my big things right when I turned this on and Graham, we talked about this too, is like the lights were just very, very bright. Right. Um, and he obviously knows that too. You can like see it in my background compared to like the Maju cases over here versus this light that's in this cabinet. It's just really like, like, yeah, this is just like a lot brighter than this, than these other cases. So um, that's one thing that, yeah, to be able to include like a full dimmer, like an actual turn knob is gonna be, um, it's gonna be nice. So. The light thing is going to be a simple fix. Also, I think the the vertical lights, one thing that was with the DTOFs that was was hard, even with Luke lights, once those lights are in there, you do not have a lot of wiggle room. Those things are like in there. You have to mount them to the sides. You can't move the shelves because the cables are so tight, like they're designed to go in a certain way. So if you mount these vertically, we already talked about the adjustable shelves, but you can freely adjust these shelves to literally whatever height you want and you will not disrupt the lights at all. So I feel like you that's your carnage in there too. Yeah. So like I adjusted, like put this shelf a little bit lower, put this one up a little bit higher. So carnage fits in there fine and you can still see the other figures fine. So you can adjust them however you, however you so choose, which I think is really nice without having to even worry about messing with the lighting, which I mm -hmm. think, um, which I think is, is really like a, a bonus for me. Another thing I've talked about, like in my video is that, um, for me, I really like acrylic because I worry about the glass shattering. I know it's not like a huge thing, but I have two young kids. I know a lot of people don't have kids and it's kind of specific to me, but my kids, Graham, you saw when you were over here, my kids <laughs> like come up to my case and they like put their hands on the acrylic. So for Drones me, like, and, they, and when I had detoffs, like they bumped into the glass a couple of times and I was like, I don't really, I just don't want glass. I have dogs too. And like, I just don't want glass in my display. Another thing I just want to make, I just want to talk about real quick too. I've saw a lot of comments about how people worry about their acrylic scratching. You guys need to go look up the product called Novus, which is an acrylic cleaner. And they have varying stages of cleaner level one, two, and three for like clean and protect. And then there's like a light scratch remover. And then there's like a heavy scratch remover. So if you actually get scratches in your acrylic, like you can get a product to actually get it out. So Dilo, you have Novus too, right? Novus cleaner. Yep. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, that stuff works very well. Um, I was a bit reckless my first couple of weeks with my Maja cases, so I got to add a couple of dings and dents. And uh, Steve yeah. definitely put me right with the uh, right product because I tried a bunch of different things, and that's probably the first one that actually worked. I actually had a nice, nice little cut into my my one of my cases here, and I was able to self heal it with some of that stuff there so yeah it you know once you kind of get the idea of like how to treat and care for yourself there i i clean that 
that Magic case less than I did a Detolf. Because the Detolf, my biggest problem I ever had with a Detolf is I had a haze in my glass that I could yeah. never for the life of me get out. So it always had this this hue of like foggish at the top that I can never fix. So yeah, I'm just that's the other thing. I'm just happy with less maintenance. That's the the big yeah, thing for me. Yeah. Why I like these cases the most is because I don't have to, you know, sw- clean something and wipe it down every two seconds. It, it just set and forget it. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about like the dust. I know it's not dust proof, but it's pretty close. Like some pretty dust close. can get in here, but it's yeah. really nice to never have to dust your stuff. Another thing I just want to talk about, mod, like in general, Maji space. I don't really know of anybody who's bought one that's been like super unhappy with it. Right. The way that's one once that's, you get it. Yeah, but once you get it and you have it, like you're really um, you know, like I feel like everybody I've never really met somebody who said, like, wow, I actually like really didn't like my Maju cases and um everybody's been happy with them. If you have any of any other Maju spaces, this is gonna be very familiar to you. It's all the same, all the same aluminum type channels for the like the yep edges um the felt boards like all of that stuff is the same another thing is like the top and the bottom are actual like block board so it's not like really cheap particle board like you're gonna have a solid actual like nice quality board so just that's why i say price wise and graham you kind of touched on if you like weather strip and light like a glass cabinet this is like you can get all of that for a little bit more money also like this is nothing new because Maju spaces are already right. a premium Com- product at a Comes premium the price. Territory. You know right. what I mean? So that's another thing I know people are saying like, wow, this price is really high. Um, this price, if you compare it to like some of their other cases, really uh, doesn't really surprise me, honestly, price wise, if they can hold that at 220 plus shipping. Um, and another thing is we, we talked about this back and forth to Graham a little bit about, well, what about going up from like the mono to a six series but the shipping is so different like if you're right. shipping from ups you're only paying whatever 20 to 30 dollars as opposed to six series you're going to have to be you're going to be paying a lot more shipping if you go that route because it's going to be um it's just going to you're going to have to pay like part of that international shipping right um so overall i'm i'm pretty happy with it i think the simple fixes are going to get taken care of um and i've been relaying pretty much like everybody's been mentioning comments i've been sending everything over to Brian and he's really receptive obviously to making this right and there really aren't like it's it's just not too much stuff I know we talked about the little brackets for the shelves like the screws are too long so that's an easy fix shorter screws the light's gonna have a dimmer um I don't know what else there was that was really um so some people just a couple people said they didn't like these channels at the bottom yeah yeah channels cool, easy at the fix you could flip this panel around and have the notches at the top and do it just like a regular module case and i told brian about this too i said or maybe just notch the top and the bottom so then like if people like calvin have all their stuff that's wired up you know you could run it from the bottom from the top and you know you're not really going to be worrying about it so he thought that was a good idea too so that'll probably likely happen as well yeah i thought about that and i'm like i don't know if i want to light it from the top because the bottom shelf is usually like the least visible so like seeing having those on the very bottom towards the floor those little channels like that doesn't i don't know if that necessarily bothers me you know what i mean bother me but i don't think it would affect the light position either no oh you no i don't think so i think yeah yeah you could like have it wherever you could kind of do whatever you prefer but yeah yeah overall like i'm really happy with it if you have modu spaces already this is gonna fit right in with all the ones you have you're gonna be like i said very familiar with it the last thing I want to talk about too, real quick, Graham, is the like the bezels. A lot of people have been commenting about like the thickness of the tape on the front, but you already kind of touched on that. With if you have it panel on or panel off, it looks relatively similar because the you can see the side of the LED strip. Mm-hmm. So either way, like you're already going to see like a black, like a thicker black line right there, whether or not this is on or off. So. I, th- I don't really think you can adjust it much thinner. And I honestly don't really think it looks bad. I think this looks perfectly fine the way uh, the way that it is. What's up, Connor? No, I agree. So, yeah, that's kind of like I kind of had the things I talked about in the video, but it sounds like that stuff is going to get fixed. And overall, like, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I do feel like it's more like I talk about in my video, just more of a like it's a it's a higher price because it's more you're getting more premium product. I'll right. say that for just speaking for Maji spaces in general too. It's just 
like once you have them you kind of know how they're constructed and stuff so Damn. yeah that's pretty much uh my main my main thoughts on it you guys can go check out my video as well i kind of talk about some of that stuff but yeah calvin any any final thoughts on this i don't want to spend the whole night on it but you know just trying uh, to get the word out there i'm happy I, I have novus for cleaner but i didn't know that they had a scratch uh product so i'll definitely be looking at it because i've got a few i'm looking at one right here so i've got a couple uh, cases that have some uh, scratches so, yeah, it's amazing too because i'll just i'll find random a scratch like just a you know a long yeah. curved scratch i'm just like where the hell did that even come from like but just no, happened, I, I guess i think i think it's a good product and like i said i mean i'm i've been well into module case for a while i i ordered two full wall cases and had a 19 month wait so trust me i know all about both mm. the price the weight mm -hmm. assembly um prior to that i was just doing um df60s one by one for my sideshow and so um i had already been familiar with the assembly by the time i got my big cases but yeah that was a full overhaul for the room when i finally got all that in here but no, Damn, bro, 19 months. When I say that was a wait, bro, I was like, God, are they ever coming? Right, right. I'm waiting for, for just three back half shelves. I thought if I ordered just those, like it was almost like because it's an accessory that that would just kind of be like something they could ship out. But right. I ordered See, that in July, and I'm still waiting same, on that too. Same, I reached out to him and asked because I was – with the Batmobiles coming in, I was like, okay, let me be smart about space. And there's got to be somewhere I can do something. So I was like, well, if I get the shelves, most Batmobiles outside of 95 are flat enough where I can at least do two to a 160 and put a shelf in between. And right. I, for the accessory, and he was like, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I thought I'd be able to. <laughs> so. D-Lo, any final man. thoughts? Um, no, I think I kind of said my piece on this one. I think it's a great product. I mean, it needs a little bit of tweaking, but... Yep. Like, yeah, I, I think for like a first prototype, a prototype. yeah, because it, it, we're talking about prototype. We're not talking about a final, guys. So, right. you know, nothing, nothing that you're seeing here is set in stone, still in somewhat of an R&D. I think this is a great step in the right direction. I like a couple of tweaks there. I, the channel at the bottom, honestly, it bothers me a little bit more, Sneaker. I'll, I'll level shit just because I think of that as like, well, I'm going to if I was getting this product, I'd put more than one figure. So I'd like to see. I'd like to have a little bit more space left to the right to me on that yeah, bottom sure, it's one, it right? Off a little bit. But so I'm so. But yeah. But I can, I can see your point. Of that. It is at the bottom, so that's a fair point too. But for me, I if I get something like this, I know I'm not going to do the one like most people. I'm I'm like yeah, I'm gonna throw as many as I can in that bad boy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think the the shells would is like my only concern. I'm good with the uh, the bevel. I I'm fine with the size of that there. I think it it matches to because it's supposed to be a Maja case piece of furniture so it's supposed to give that aesthetic there and i say something like this my wife would i think would be okay with me giving something putting something like this in my living room i that's the way that's the way i look at this particular one curious about that I, I thought that was a joke well, no no i'm sincere because you know obviously i just gotta you know get the chain of command to give me the final approval <laughs> right but you know because that's this is my room out there that everything else that's right, hers so i i usually off i listen I gotta, I gotta talk to my boss, but um, right. but yeah, I think for like, if you're doing a, like a serious build out, I think Magic Case is, is still gonna be your go-to for that. But I think for collectors with either a, smaller collections, b, uh, wants to display them in other rooms outside of let's say a designated space for your collection, I think this is a wonderful option because this this essentially is your Magic Case version of a Detoff. So. If you like detoffs, this is just going to be the next step up for you there. So, yeah, I, I think it's fantastic. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's fun when it's finished. Awesome. I'm just going to put a poll up here. I want I want to know what you guys think of it. Um, I then, think also that's a really good point you made, Dilo, about like if you're collecting these figures, you are willing to spend more on a figure than you are this display cabinet. You know, I feel like that kind of like puts it into perspective a little bit too. You know what I mean? Like the amount I mean, of figures you're going to put in here, that's a lot of money worth of figures. So it's like, you know, it's a sneaker, little, yeah. the minimum is $1,200, right? Yeah, yeah, the common, crazy. the common figure today is about $300, right? Plus shipping taxes and all that there, right? So mm -hmm. it's a little bit higher than 300 a piece. We're just being modest. Any three. That's $1,200 yeah. Yeah. in a $80, $100 piece of Ikea furniture. Like let's, 
be honest about that there. It means great value furniture, but it's not built to last. This is built to last. You're not going to worry about this one breaking down on you in like two, maybe three years. You don't have to worry about it shattering. I mean, it's built to design to hold the weight of your heavier figures, your statues, etc. This is a detolf on steroids. So it's going to be it up front. It's more, but it's already weather sealed. It's got the proper mm -hmm. lights, the shelving, everything there. When you add in what you would do if you were serious about putting money into your detolf to future proofing it for your collection, then you would be spending the same exact money at the end regardless. And so this is just an all in one product. This is a right. set it and forget it kind of situation. You don't have to do any extra additional labor to it. It was figured out for you, so you don't have to worry about other than where you're going to put it and what you're going to put in it. Calvin, did you start with Detoss? Yes, that's where I started. Okay. So I did you? A, I had a friend. You said you used like the Home Depot stuff, or you just you know did your own way of lighting them and stuff like that, right? Trial and error across the yeah. you know. Gotcha. Um, so you guys, I'm going to try to get a, to a couple of your your chats here, um, but then we're going to talk about this Jack Sparrow next. So stay with it here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, TX Boy says, if you can wait for an in-art piece, you'll make it waiting on some details. <laughs> <laughs> we got Cobra's yeah. collection in the house. What's going on, my Thank friend? You. Thank you for being here. It says, growing fire collection display, Graham. Cheers, Delo and panel. Thank you for stopping in and being a part of Wolfpack Wednesday. Too sweet to you, my brother. Um, we also have Hot Toys Hotline in the house. Thank you for for being here as well, Connor. Um, he was on a couple weeks ago, so check him out. Uh, check that video out with him. Also, go check his channel out, too. He uh, goes live. Um, I believe that's Tuesday nights. He's the night before us, right? I, gotta, I know I'm Joey's Tuesday tomorrow nights. night. Yeah, so go check him out. And um, let's see, there's somebody else here too. We had uh, Darth Tamaris is in the house. I just need to locate him. We got Thrawn's office here as well. Hello, my friend. Please change your name back to Mike Literus. <laughs> would be much appreciated. <laughs> um, and we do have Darth Tamaris. Hello, and thank you for coming in. So, um, I, did you guys see any? Um, I mean, you, usually this is kind of a, I hate to say a divisive product. But kind of gets the people going, you know, when we talk about um, Maju space and whatnot, you know, there's people that think it's too expensive, that it's a, too long of a wait, but then there's people that love it. So it's it's very, it's almost very one side or the other. And and um, and that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Again, it's just good to have um, these options, especially since you're not going to be able to get the detoff anymore. So but understandable that Ikea has a bunch of other um, cabinets as well. So. Um, just seeing if there was anything that questions they had, but, uh, yeah, some of you saying it looks pretty good. Everything yeah. And Jazzy was asking if the, if, um, six series is similar price, probably what, what, what are the six series? 280? Oh, well, Three? I don't think they're 250? 60? De depends on it. We're talking about the, the 55s or which one are we talking about? Six 110s. Six 110s. I thought they were 260. I was just looking at this a second ago. Let me say, please hold. Yeah, I, got I know it's real name. I know it. We got Texas Finest in the house. What's up, fellas? Been out of the game for a while. 250. Okay. Hope everyone was doing well. Well, thank you for being here, Texas Finest. Hope you are doing well as well. As well as well. All right. Yep. Cool. I concur. Also, so, yeah, keep in mind, if I can just add one thing here. Mm -hmm. You before you, while I pour if anybody, drink. no, 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 go for it. It's yeah, yeah. any excuse you need there. If I can just make now, if you guys think I am completely wrong about my opinion on this mono here, I would like you guys to know and be aware I have seven detoffs in my hallway. If you live in Florida and you don't want a mono, you can hit me up and I will sell you a detoff. That's <laughs> all I gotta real? say. I didn't know you had where's Titer? Where's Titer FL? I got seven of them bad boys just chilling. Wow, now you will pay a premium. And if you ask nicely, <laughs> yes, I will sign it for you if you want. But I will warn you, it will actually bring the value down. Who do you totally think you, you are? 
I'm being honest. I told them it the mark. I'm going to mark it up, but it'll bring the value down if I sign it. So whatever they want, you got it. DM me, folks. <laughs> All right, you heard. Carry them. on. Yeah, X Men says I just wish the turnaround time wasn't so long. I understand um, that we wait just as long, sometimes longer for figures, but you can accumulate a lot of figures in six months. I get it, man. I, I totally get it. I wish I had an answer for you. Um, the good news is these will be about an eight week turnaround, so it's at least a step in the right direction. These are going to be subcontracted because they're going to be easier to assemble. So that's why that turnaround time is going to be a lot shorter. Um, but yeah, I get it. Just um, if any of you are ever feeling upset or depressed or sad about that long wait, um, just reach out to Calvin. You know, he can be the shoulder for you to cry on and he can guide you through this long, dark wait <laughs> and he'll he'll have the words of inspiration for you. So go make sure if you're, if you're feeling down, talk to Calvin and, and he'll get I'm, you I'm not really the sympathetic type. I'm more of the... <laughs> man, no, bitch. Deal with it. man up, deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Joey says, could you cut your own piece of acrylic for the sh for a shelf? I would suppose you probably could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I talked to Brian sure. a little bit about that. He had mentioned, like, you could easily go to, like, your local store, like, your local hardware store or something, and they could cut your, your acrylic shelves to size if you wanted to do that and just put there them you in go. yourself. Probably there save you, you some money doing that, just putting them in yourself. Right. And, and to be fair, there's things that... I don't typically buy from Modular Space like the risers. Like for me, it's too expensive, and I'll just build my own for twenty five dollars. So like I get it. You know, we all have to pick and choose, and I think the cases are totally worth it. But like for me, I'm just gonna take some two by eights and I'm gonna build a, a riser myself, and I'll save some money there. So, and that that allows me to be able to spend more money on the back half shelves or you know other parts of the case that I think are worth it to me. So. Yeah, it's to each their own and, and to whatever, you know, you think is, is right for you. Um, really quickly, I miss Brandon, too. I wanted to say hi to him. Um, so thank you for being here, Brandon. He says, do any of y'all have uh, new collection tours? Um, Dilo has a somewhat recent one. Um, a couple yeah, I did my ago. end of the year one for 2023. So that's pretty recent. I typically like to do updates, but it's not like a full-on tour. But I have been meaning to do a tour soon but now i have this mono here and it's kind of thrown off my collection just a little bit so i'm waiting to see if i can get another one in april and set this place up to like a final i don't want to say a final look but like a look that i'm good for a little bit and then i'm probably going to do a tour soon but um i might wait a little while how about you sneaker uh actually probably probably sometime next month honestly i'll probably do one with a, and, probably within, yeah, a few weeks and Calvin, I know you don't have your own channel, and I know you talked about this recently that, you know, it's not really something you really want to do, but would you ever start a channel just to do, like, a highlight of your collection? Like, it's not, like, creating content every week or anything like that, but just to do, like, every six months, you just film a collection tour. I've thought about it. I'm, I'm just... My biggest issue, because work has me away from home, that's you know, true. I, never, I, I, I literally I don't know what my schedule. I mean, granted, this week has been pretty solid, knowing what my schedule is. At least I have an idea. But even with that being said, I can get to a location. You never know how long it's going to take for them to load you. How long it's going to take to unload you? How sure. long to, to or from? So, trying to have set times, like the, like how you guys have set shows. I mean, that's why you guys have seen me come in from the truck so many so many times. Right. Because I, I can't get home, so fuck it. I'll just jump on out. But um, Mario, Marco. Eddie, they've all said that they were going to do um, tours of, of the room, but no one's actually done it yet. So I was just waiting on one of them to do it more so. But I guess I could, I guess I could, but I just never thought about it. And it's funny because every time somebody wants to see the room, I'll show pictures. I'm like, oh, shit, these are like a year old. I should probably take updated pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think it's got to be something that you would obviously enjoy. Like if you feel like. You, you know you're doing it for for the community that's great but like if it's not something you also enjoy doing then it's i wouldn't uh i wouldn't recommend it either like i said i i, I would want to do it but like i said i i just know there's so many individuals out there that have that great eye and i'd be like i, I don't know if i got it so i don't know i'm open i know you, you've sent for, i think for our, our um 
our first collection, like our community collection segment, you sent yours and it was a wicked display. Um, yeah. So I've yeah, seen I'm like glad, tidbits I, of it. I was stuck. I, I didn't get home in time to get you an updated version for the next time you did some. Yeah. I was trying to get some to you, but it, yeah. So we got to do that again. Too. Pictures and you realize how much the room it constantly changes as things right. come in. So, yeah. It, it sometimes it happens too where I feel like I have everything finally where I want it, like in the cases and everything, and then I get a new figure and it, I don't have room for it, so I have to move stuff around. And then like for a week or two, you almost, I don't want to say hate it, but you're like, damn, like that really, that threw everything off, and now I kind of got to start over with how I'm reorganizing this year. So it's it's interesting how that works. Um, well, so I had everything behind me fitting well, even when I got the uh, poison ivy in, because she's a really wide base with the um, with the tentacles and everything that she has. So I was able to fit her in, and but once I put the bat wing on the wall, because it's protrude, it's pushing everything forward. Um, my um, my red hood is in the laundry room on the other side of the wall. So I'm shocked my wife hasn't complained about that. You're like, are you gonna move this out of here? <laughs> But at the moment, I'm like, I don't know where to put it because I don't know. So I got to move some other stuff around for that right there. I get it, man. I think uh, how your figure needs to do a little bit of moving. He says, right now I have figures in front of my window in direct sunlight, but I'm going to be looking into these monos. <laughs> I think he's joking. So, um, but yeah, definitely don't keep your figures in direct sunlight if you can <laughs> help it. They'll last a lot longer. Um, yeah, and, and um, X Man says if the mile's just a little over 200, then it's hella worth it. I was looking at the Apex Legend cases, and they're cool, uh, but they cost, uh, but the cost of a hot toy just to display one hot toy. No thanks. Yeah, and Texas fine. It's like I get it for people like this. If you're already set, you know, with your detox and whatnot, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know, if 21, no turning back now. I totally understand that. So you're all in. That's, right. That's mm-hmm. all yeah. So you're if invested. you need more, you know, like if your a... collection starts growing, just hit up D-Lo. He'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Bring the van over to Florida, buddy. I got you. <laughs> so Stacy says, have you ever asked Brian why the wait time is so long for Maju case? Is it materials, staff, or just growing pains? Um, I think it's a combination of all of them. Um, you know, in the U S here, the workforce has not been the greatest and that's, you know, he's told me that's no different over by him. They're always constantly looking for builders or, or manufacturers and, and staff. Um, so that's part of it. I know late last year they had a, was it a flood? Yep. Or like an oil or not oil, like a water leak, not sprinkler, a sprinkler malfunction, which Mm, also, um, set them back as well. Um, but then. The materials, yeah, I mean, it's it's partly the materials as well, and then just growing pains, you know. It's just like, you look at OT Customs, or Chris's Custom Savers, or Jackson, or um, Unreal Customs, and these guys take 10, 12 weeks to make you a cape. You know, it's because it's just them doing the job. It's a small business, but they have such a high demand that they, they make these you know, specifically for you. So you do have to wait in line for that. And, and Maju space really isn't too, too different. He, he's a collector that, that made these cases for the community. And it's just grown so much that I think he's having a hard time figuring that out. And I, and I hope he, he does because I think he's got something special here. And, and I, again, I understand the other side of it where it's frustration, you know, waiting a year plus for, for cases. So the thing that I did when I, bought my first cases was I was planning ahead and I did a video on it too on why I was picking Maju cases over Detoffs and I knew the wait was going to be at least around a year so I made sure that I, I ordered before I needed them no not everybody has that luxury you can't just order before you need them sometimes it just happens where you found out about them and you're already in need of them but I tried to just be proactive and order ahead of time and, and knew the wait was what it was and it made it made it a little bit better on me, but it's still, you know, I'm still can be a pain. So no perfect answer, I guess, but I have talked to him a little bit about it because it is one of those things that I hear the most about. I don't know. Um, sneaker, have you talked to him about that at all? I think one thing is, and like, that's the difference between the, these cases too, is like you talked about, they're subcontracted out, but the difficulty too, is the other cases are a lot harder to manufacture. So it's harder to train staff 
for that's I think that's one big thing is like it's hard to train staff to make them because it's a lot more intricate to make like the DFs and the six series and all those um, versus these. Yeah, they're a lot easier to manufacture. I think that's one big thing. And I know that flood too, like that sprinkler malfunction, like he had to buy a brand new. It, like, it was devastating. It, it broke equipment. Like it, yeah. it was very bad. Like one of his entire machines went out. Like it was really, that was a really unfortunate thing I know. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he can keep work on, working on, on getting that better. Yeah, it's tough. Also, yeah. I did reach out to him today and I'm, I'm trying to get him on the show sometime in mid April, um, just because I want to talk to him myself. But then also, if you guys have these questions, we can ask them respectfully as well. And, and just, um, kind of pick his brain so have, have you yeah, guys I've, seen you know, with the um his corner shelves i've been really intrigued with those yeah they look cool yeah they're mm. really nice oh, i want to see i want to see the more in depth of those there's a um did you see the video like, like from singapore comic-con on that calvin mm -mm. there's a video from singapore comic-con where he has like he has one set up like in his display area okay. i can try and find it and send it to you but yeah, yeah it looks it looks okay nice i wish i had the space for it um yeah, so I was having a conversation with uh, Titer FL about this same conversation we're having now, just because, you know, he's got a, an order that's uh, being fulfilled that's that took a really long time for him there. We were just kind of having an open, honest conversation about you know, like what's going on with this here and all. And there's there's no perfect answer like everybody said here, but you know, the main thing is like it's true. The guy is still a small company, and there's a high high demand, and you know. We were having a conversation about that and we we're just kind of talking about like you know we're we were arguing well there's only so many and not arguing i mean just you know what i mean but going back and forth just saying you know there's only so many collectors you know why does it take long why is it still taking long if there's you know so many of us there that's ordered this year and i kind of had the conversation was like because there's a lot of collectors like you and me who also already have magic cases and now that we have them now we're ordering more too so you throw mm -hmm. us back into so it's a, it's a it's an evolving thing here because i feel like when someone eventually gets the cases and that order is fulfilled and you're relieved by that there for me personally i felt like i needed to take a breather from because i knew i wanted more but i wasn't ready to jump back in and and buy an, another set right away so i waited literally a year and now i'm placing my my second order of Magic case now preparing myself for the journey of eventually getting these cases yet again. So, you know, you're cycling in new collectors who are transferring from other types of displays to Magic cases. And then you have people who are repeat customers too, who now have seen the vision of what they're collecting and they'd like it and they want to expand it there. So, you know, it's, it's hard for all of us here. We all want our stuff here as much as we can, but I think at the end of the day, all my frustrations because i i feel what everybody's saying like i've felt the frustration i couldn't stand the weight i finally get it and honestly a lot of my my feelings kind of washed away i felt like okay did, it, did the weight suck absolutely was it worth it at the end a thousand percent a thousand percent and i know that's not helping anybody who's still waiting now but what i'm just saying here is as far as that's concerned is like once you get it guys you're gonna feel no doubt in your mind, it was worth the wait. Like that's that's my honest opinion about it. I, once you get it in hand, you got it all set up, you got your figures in there, you're gonna be like, okay, it's done. But I'm grateful it came out as good as I, I hoped it would. So just stay strong. It's not easy, but um, you know, just hang in there. I would start also, a sport group. I would also say it depends on the size. I mean, granted, I know it was 19 months for me, but it was two wall units. So yeah, you went all in. A lot. Of that's cases. no joke. That's a was, lot of house yeah, right there. One twenty. <laughs> it was nine. It was one one thirty. Damn. Like Twelve DF sixties or something. It was a huge. I literally had like twenty seven boxes. Should have like UPS had to back up the van in my driveway. It took them three yeah. months to, <laughs> to build it. Right. Uh, so I mean, it was it was the lighting. It was all this extra accessories because I did purchase some um, of the uh, other stands as well. So it was several pieces. For me to get all that at once i'm sure it took some time and then uh, they also ship by containers right mm -hmm. yeah so they have to wait for the container to be filled they're not going to just send a half filled container and trust me that's a lot of money uh right. when it comes to the ports so they have to wait for the containers you also have to think Good about point. how many are being filled by they're, they're fulfilling sideshow 
I know I pr originally purchased mine through uh, Josh with um, Common Concepts. I know Marco Toy Store has them. They're doing it. I know Marcos is doing it at Collector's Zone. So they're fulfilling all their orders as well on top of his individual direct orders. So that's that's a, that's a lot of mouths to feed. So he's, he's taking on a lot. Yeah, well said, guys. Well said. Um, we have a new channel member, Figurecraft. Thank you so much for joining the Jedi Knights Watch channel membership. I do appreciate you taking that extra step just to support the channel. Everything that you guys um, um, donate to the channel goes back into the channel, whether it's equipment, cases, figures, um, stream yard, stuff like that. So thank you so much. And I'm trying to find you. Yes, this is for you, sir. Yes, that's awesome. You're awesome, bro. <laughs> thank you so much for supporting the channel. And thank you all for just being here tonight as well. Appreciate you guys. Um, Christian wants to know if anyone uses pop collectible pop collectibles. If so, what's your guys' experience with them? I uh, used them early on when I first started collecting. I think I got two or three, maybe four orders with them. Um, they were fine at the time, but that was before they even had a website. So that was early, early on. And that was just solely through their Instagram. Never had any issues, um, but I've heard some Toys Wonderland like stories with them also. So you never know. Just do your research. Tread cautiously. You know they're backing, well, they've been backing um, uh, Jet Patrol and I know they're with Justin now. So maybe they step their game up. I'm not sure. I've heard recent horror stories, but uh, how about what about you guys? Never ordered from them, but yeah, I've heard mixed reviews. I don't really, I, I don't want to speak too much about it. I just see the comments and yeah, stuff that people post about it. But I personally have never ordered from them. Yeah, same here. I just kind of went through the T Dub situation. I was fortunate with my orders that I did with them, but once I saw the comments and the people having issues with T Dub, I kind of swore them off. And then the Pop Collectibles thing, never personally had experience with them. I'm sure there's good and bad like any place is, but at that point I was kind of over the purchasing things early, paying extra money for it. You know, kind of when things weren't like selling for that high price anymore, it just seemed like it was throwing money away. So I really, I became way more patient. That's so why I just wait for my, my orders locally. hundred percent. Yeah. Costs, Costs a lot of money. All right. So we finally have made it to this point in the show. Where we got this little surprise mm. over the, was it over the weekend or late last week something like that i don't remember mm. all i know is that it could potentially tank the value of my dx6 <laughs> jack sparrow <laughs> which is fine um uh this is going to be stunning hair craftsmanship so it i mean they didn't say anything necessarily like artisan or limited but I think we can all assume it's going to be artisan and it is going to be limited. Do you guys think that they're going to do... I, mean, I want to get your thoughts. Like, Obviously, we can't really talk about what we think about the figure, but what are you hoping to see? What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be limited 1,500, 3,000? Do you think they'll do limited artisan? Do you think they're going to do then sculpted again? Or do you think maybe because they already have this sculpted out, they'll just do a limited run? Um, do you want to start with you? What are your what was your first reaction to seeing this? Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> that was my first reaction. Hell yeah, I'm a Pirates of the Caribbean fan through and through. I've got the DX15 already, it's beautiful, and I don't mind it having company at all. I'm down for this. Um, as far as the uh, some of the questions you asked there. Uh, this is definitely going to be an artisan. I, I'm pretty sure that's confirmed already at this point. Um, shout out to the rooted dreads there. I can see in that picture, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, the figure itself here, it's kind of hard to make out what we're, what we're working with over here. This looks very similar to my DX15. I'd be curious to see what kind of materials they're using for the belts and the satchels and all those other things that, that come on his person and stuff like that. Um, and wondering more importantly, if, is it going to be a new head sculpt or not? I'm curious if they're going to give I'm us a new one or not. Because we have two face plates currently with my DX15. One I like, one I think is okay. So I'd like to see a new head sculpt to go with this one here. 
Um, but I think the million dollar question for me is not, not how many they're going to make. I think they're going to make a decent amount. I don't think this is going to be, you know, the Umbra, Oompa Loompa Trooper from last mm-hmm. week. The I don't think we're going to have that. Yeah. We're not going to have that. I think this is going to be more in line with an Anakin amount as opposed to what we just got with the last drop there. Uh, my only thing is I wish, I don't know why, and I've been, I did some research this week kind of preparing for the show here. I don't know why we're not doing Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Curse of the Black Pearl, the first movie. We're going to these right. later movies. Weird. Like I'm like, like this is um, this is going to be beautiful. Like I have no doubt in my mind they they make really good Jack Sparrows, but I, my heart is set on the first movie because the first movie is my favorite movie. Yeah, and I wish we would go back to that. I really generally do. But I'm a Jack Sparrow fan, I'm a Johnny Depp fan, and I think it's going to be good either way. But I'm. I'm holding out hope that one day we will get a proper Curse of Black Pearl. Jack Sparrow. Did they do any figures from the first movie? They've done them, but not for that movie. They did it from uh, at World's End, the the finale of the original trilogy. So they have um, Will Turner. Uh, I forget her name. Elizabeth. Yep. Um, I'm and gonna then, forget. Um, I know the enemy. I can't think of the guy's name yep, right now. I, he's going for like a thousand bucks. I forget. Squid Davy face. Jones. Oh Davy Jones. Yeah. Davy Jones. Yeah, Jones. So, so yeah, they've done figures for them as well in the past, but they if you look at them now, they're they can definitely use a 2.0 treatment there, but I don't know if Hot Toys is willing to go with everybody. I think Johnny Depp is probably as far as they're willing to go as far as marketable actors and their characters are concerned. But um but yeah, this is going to be interesting. I my thing here is I'm curious because Again, I've been on state. I've been recognizing this all the time here. When we got the Anakin, Anakin is the was only rooted. We never got the sculpt. So I'm curious again if they're going to give the sculpt. I believe they're going to do the sculpted hair with this one here. I'm about 90 percent confident they're going to do that because I still have my eye. Wonder what Hot Toys has in mind for that Anakin head sculpt because we never got it sculpted. So yeah, this should be a very interesting release. Is anybody else going to get it? Because I just to answer that question. I'm definitely. I'm going to try. It. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Really quick, really quick. I, I did end that the thoughts on the mono, and just kind of how I said it's it's very like one way or another. Um, so we had 39 votes, which is good. 48% said love it. 46% said it's nice, but not for me. And 5% said hate it. So, you know, there you go. It's kind of like love it or don't want it, don't need it. So it's kind of two ends of the spectrum now i have another poll um if you guys are going to try and secure this but yeah continue sorry no who wants to go next i'm done (laughs) well so so the dx6 is fully sculpted the dx15 the dreads were sculpted but you had the rooted like locks on the side there which i personally wasn't the biggest fan of they just kind of like they maybe if you mess with it a bit they kind of wing out i just didn't like them so i actually kind of preferred the dx6 a little bit more um, just because it was all sculpted and looked more natural but damn guys like would you would you rather have i don't know i'm, I'm thinking out loud here so would you rather have the wagon or the wagon wheel the the wagon. ship wheel or would you rather have the DX15 base again? Like, because a lot of people missed out on that too. You know, that's considered a soft grail, if you will. So, like, is there one of the diorama bases that you'd rather have? Sneaker, are you even going to try to get this? Oh, yeah, I'm trying for this. I don't okay. have a Jack Sparrow, and I've thought about picking up, like, I've thought more about picking up, like, the DX06 versus this is the other one's a 15, right? Yep. So I'm mm-hmm. glad. I, I guess I'm glad I waited. Also, I think I don't know if you want, me, you want me to keep going. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. So this is 100 percent a new head sculpt because why would they just blank off the face in this photo? Like this is going to be a new head sculpt. I think I, I don't see why they would like tease this as artisan and then not do a reveal of only his face. You know what I mean? Like that seems like it's going to be. They're going to do full on uh, announcement. Uh, reveal with photos and like they, they've got to update the head sculpt I guess in my mind I think another thing is the first thing that came to my mind when you said why don't they do Curse of the Black Pearl I wonder mm-hmm. if it has something to do with license like would they have to go back and uh, would they have to pay for the license for that movie to do the figures and do they still have like this license from the DX15 so they can still utilize it without paying more money 
You know what I mean? Because this is well, a more recent figure. Is that possible, this, you think? These are two sure. different movies, though. So the one for the DX-15 was from... Uh, what's the one called here? Um, oh, that's from a, the 15's from a different movie? Yeah. yeah. Dead Man Tells uh, That's okay. the most recent film. So this is the mm -hmm. fifth film. The DX-14 is off the fourth, which escapes me right now what the name was. Mm, but Gotcha. Okay. Which is so yeah, then maybe, weird. Why wouldn't you focus not. on the most popular one? Then maybe not. Yeah. Then who knows? Um Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Connor's saying this is. One? Which one is? Which one? Is, I'm gonna have to look. Yeah, it Connor's saying this is it. Oh, Connor's saying this is it. This is yeah, what I thought. I yeah, this, this is, is what it. I thought. Um, but someone can confirm. But oh, yeah, that's Stranger Tides. That yeah. It? So this is what that, I thought. So this yeah, is gonna yeah, kind of right. be like a two. Isn't this just kind of like a 2.0 of the DX15? But it comes isn't with that, the steering wheel, which was the DX6. Sure. sure. So like maybe they like they combine them together or something, and like because another thing is like. We know Hot Toys loves to reuse parts. So, like, is this body going to be all that different from the 15 if it's the same? Probably not. They're going to probably update the head sculpt, root the hair, and then do they just take the wheel from the DX06 and put it in with this and then call it, like, this mm -hmm. new... Mm -hmm. um, I believe so. Uh, yeah, like, this new... Like, then do they... Is that what they're going to do? Are they going to combine the 6 and the 15 and just make, like, this new one? But... No, I'm definitely going to try to get this. One thing is I wish they would have like, I wish kind of wish they would have done like a rooted beard though. Cause it's just like sculpted, uh, that like a part of his beard. Wouldn't that be cool? You think mm -hmm. that'd be cool? No, I don't need I, that. I think it would have been cool. I don't need that. I think it would have been like a cool <laughs> little addition. Cause everything else is rooted. Right. Um, but I think it looks, yeah. I mean, from what we see, it's cool. I, I've been kind of waiting to get a, yeah, Jack Sparrow. So I'm excited about it. I think there'll be three thousand. That's my guess. I'm gonna say three thousand is so. just uh, is the guess that I have for this. The only one that was really higher than that. What was Anakin? Was Anakin twenty five hundred? Thirty five hundred? Was it? God, I can't remember. I can't remember what enough. Anakin was. The highest one was Joker at four thousand. I don't see him going above that. No, I don't either. I mean, they made that because they knew everybody. He's gonna be popular, probably. but I don't think that popular. I'll say three thousand would be my guess. Mm -hmm. This speaks to like Disney people though. Like you just you can never underestimate the Disney fan. You know, it's it's li a little different with Anakin compared to Vader or something to to that effect. Or Heath Ledger. That's that's legendary. Jack Sparrow is a legendary character. I mean, he's been around for over twenty years, and I mean, the guy was actually nominated for an Oscar for the first movie. So. Yeah, I don't know. This could this could be up there with Joker. Maybe maybe just short of it there. Like the Joker was how much again? Remind me. Four thousand. About four thousand. Yeah, it could be. I can see it being. If they do that many. That would be that'd be nice if they did four thousand. But I I genuinely feel like it's going to be a low lower batch than we'd all want it to be. Kind of like the same way we've been with every single release since. Sure. But I think there's going to be a sculpted wide release to coincide with this. Hmm. Touching on, the, touching on the Disney aspect, remember, well, ever since the movie came out, Jack is a major part of the ride at the park. Like you see several different, you see him several different times throughout the at, throughout the ride as you're going through it. I can't remember Orlando and Paris if that was the same for those two, but definitely here in California, he's a major part of the ride. So I can see them definitely having plenty for it. So, Calvin, you said. You have a you have the DX fifteen, but you also have the the ship wheel. Correct. So if you if you could only pick one of those diorama pieces, which would it be? It'd probably be the wheel because that was what okay. I was per that was what I was actually searching for originally. But okay, like, able to find both, I stuck with it. But probably the wheel. Just I, I just feel it's like iconic with the um, with the character. And then, or how your figure said. Um, is it possible that we could have real leather? What do you What do you guys think of that, Calvin? Do you, they did it with Indiana Jones, but it's very few and far in between for figures. Do you think because this is a DX, because it's like going to be an artisan? Do you th and again, this is just speculation. But do you think we could see you know real leather on Definitely. the um, on the straps and stuff and the hat? I would, maybe? Like to, I would like them to bring back what a DX is what it's meant to be. I right. haven't I haven't picked up the. Um, the latest uh what is that the black adam but yep. all my guys have gotten them they're like this is the shit so it feels like it's got that dx feel when you open the box i mean there have been several that you you get a dx and you're like mm, but 
what is this? So it's like they're just stamping the, the name on it and they're, they're not fulfilling what the what it, it's meant to be. So I hope they go back to what a DX is supposed to be. Because I'll be honest, I believe Figurecraft was the one that I had never even paid attention to see that the DX was on there. I just zoomed in real quick while we were talking about it. So I'm excited for that reason. Yeah, I mean, the same here. And, and TX Boy says he thinks they'll do a similar run of 3,000 so that most have a good shot. I know I'm going to be... I, it's tough because... I have the DX6 and I love it. And it's nice to have, kind of like you said, like that Disney aspect in your collection. It's not just Star Wars, Marvel, and, and DC. You know, it's nice to have some of these miscellaneous figures as well. So I hope I hope it does well. And I hope Hot Toys continues to, to do some of these figures that are kind of like a miscellaneous franchise, but still really popular in the community. But um, I'll, I'll be, I'll be um, down, I think, if I'm not able to get it. But at the same time, it's not like Anakin, where at least I have the DX6 that I can kind of at least hang my hat on that. So, you know, I hope for like people like Sneaker that don't have it at all. Like, I hope, you know, you have a chance to get it unless it comes at my cost, you know, obviously. So, <laughs> I, but, I think, um, I think there's been very few movies coming out for, you know, the three major um, IPs. They're going to have to dig in their bag and pull out stuff like this. So, I think we can look forward to several miscellaneous pieces coming out, uh, at least between this year and next year, because they're gonna they gotta come with something to keep those uh, the factories filled and keep right. keep the line going. So they're gonna come up with something. So I think I think we're gonna get a lot more individuals like this that people are looking forward to. See, see, this makes me worried a little bit. Hot Toys Hotline says, "Dude, five k in the queue for the Umbra. Um, this drop will be nuts." I didn't even try for that that trooper. So, um, Sneaker, you missed out, but you were able to secure it another way. Um, yeah, I had a friend who was number four in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> so right when it popped up, he literally sent me a photo. Shout out to uh, to Mike Collecting Nerd Zone for yeah. hooking me up. Yeah, that's yeah. A real he was life. number four. He sent me a picture immediately. Like I'm like, it's open, and I see the next message I see is him add to cart. Like what? <laughs> he didn't want it. He didn't want it, so he hooked me up. So nice. Dilo, what, what's your guess on a price? Hmm. Four fifty. Flavio thinks four fifty to five. Nah, there you go. Sneaker, how about what about you? I think four fifty is pretty what fair. Was, what was Joker? Was Joker four forty? I think for the rooted. I think it was more. I don't think I thought so. it was over. I thought it was over. Five, chat. How much was it? Joe? Was over five, 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 five. Yeah, 15. it was over five. Mm -hmm. five Damn. Fifteen. Over maybe five. I think. I th maybe the I think sculpted, that, the one that I got was four forty then. And Wanda's four forty for for artisan. Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four ninety nine. Thanks, movie canon. Yeah, you said five fifteen. Yeah, I'm gonna say four not four. And I'm gonna say close like yeah, close to five. With four ninety five. With these artisans, they don't let you do payment plans either, right? It's either just NRD or pay in full. That's what uh, sucks. Hold on. No, I'm looking right now. I'm looking right now. It's NRD, and you can. it says right now on here, switch to payment plan. Yeah, Thanks for your Joker. Joker. I don't really want to mess with it. Because I knew Wonder my, Woman you couldn't do. My but that was do payments. Anakin, you can? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know Wonder Woman was probably because it was a quicker turnaround. It, was, it wasn't yeah. technically artisan. It was the anniversary, so... That's probably why. But um, Calvin, how about you? What do you? I think me, I want to change it for you, Calvin. What would you be willing to pay to get another one? Yeah, I'd like four, low four. Um, and what do you think? I'll put, my, I'll put myself out there for this one because I know there's several guys um, looking for this. So if I could help somebody get one, I would do that. Right. But um, if I, for myself, seeing that I already have one. And like I said, space is becoming an issue. So trying to double down. Like I let go of the Robocop three because I already have a Robocop. I wanted that sure. purple with the with the jetpack, but I was like, I don't need it. So but yeah, if I could get this for four, I'd be happy with that. And what do you think it's gonna be realistically? I'd probably that four fifty five hundred yeah. range. One six GJ says, You guys think uh this will be Joker slash Scarlet difficult to get? Or Anakin difficult. Demand seems maybe not as high as I would have expected. Some all in, some are sticking with what they have. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be 
difficult, but three thousand still takes some time to get through. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think He's I think like, it could be difficult because everybody knows about these lotteries now and how they work. Like everybody's filling into these things. Like look at the and also the scary thing about like the Umbra Trooper was that was a shadow drop. Hey, we are dropping this at, at whatever it was, three p.m. Central today. And that was an alert like two to three hours before. And that was like 5K in the queue. Imagine everybody who knows a week in advance for mm. this. Like everybody knows about it now. Like, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> but every, and that was like, that's like no planning. You know, some people probably missed out on that because they were at work and never saw it. So like, if this is like a week advance or they give us like a heads up, like this thing's going to be, they're going to, it seems like the lotteries are going to get probably more and more full because now everybody knows how to do it and what to expect, you know? So I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to be an absolute total shit yeah, show. That's what I think. <laughs> That's what <laughs> it always is, true. you know? No, but I, I, remember... I feel like Go we've ahead. taken a turn, though, on this this whole raft. Thing. It was all in good spirit and fun now, but now the resellers are getting involved, and that makes me nervous, honestly. Because mm. it's it's I'm not going against you or Steve or Loki. Or, I'm going against the dude that stands in line and who, pay, who gets paid 20 bucks to stand there and all that other good jazz that goes on overseas. I mean... The uh, I didn't like the way the uh, the Oompa Loompa trooper went down last week. I didn't like that. I saw you guys saw the photos overseas, right? People standing in lines and all that good yeah. jazz there. Yeah. I I don't like manufactured grills. I don't think but I've ever been, had, I've said that before. Years though, so unfortunately yeah. they have they have, and I I know because you're right because we come from that that time frame when that was that was more prominent, right? Resellers kind of took a little kind of dipped these last couple of years and stuff like that there but they're coming back because with these limited releases they're seeing the dollar signs and you know that's good for them scary for us because you know we're dealing with all the collectors who generally want it and then you got another 40 to 50 percent of the other folks who just want to resell it and that's getting scary and it's getting right. scary because i mean five thousand in a queue i don't think those were all collectors because i know you didn't do it i know i didn't do it and in fairness, good looking trooper, but I don't think the I don't think the I didn't think it appealed to as many collectors as it looks like on paper. I think it was a combination of diehard fans and the most and the majority of it was people trying to make a buck off a collector. So these raffles, if you're you're in it to win it, man, just be aware you're not just going up against me, you're going up against an entire website or two as well too so yeah uh this is gonna be a shit show so buckle up folks so that's bots and i believe i i don't remember who it was that uh was it how you figure like you said don't underestimate disney collectors because they'll be in there just because it's jack right i mm -hmm. be in there just because it's a jack figure so and johnny depp is popular as well so huge yeah yeah uh, we have a super chat from Titer FL nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much, my good friend. He says, "Great stream tonight. Got to catch the rest on replay. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much for the generosity. I do appreciate that. Also, uh, I know a month or two ago, you know, all the super chats were going towards the uh, the new computer, kind of stalled out because then you know the bad batch happened. So it turns out all of those super chats went towards the bad batch. We did some reviews on those. <laughs> so uh, that computer is going to have to hold off for a little bit longer, but thank you for the nine ninety nine towards my new Jack Sparrow. Appreciate that. Damn bro. Put them in the, put it in the bank. Start the tally. Start the <laughs> sneaker. Start, start. I got it going. Coloring in the marker. <laughs> uh, Jazzy says, thank Thank you, Titer. I appreciate that, man. Uh, I'm securing this and sell my DX15. That's something that you got to look out for too. Like, <laughs> could DX15s and DX6s? I mean, I got my DX6 for 275. Thought that was a pretty good deal. Like, could they go even lower too? So, like, maybe if you miss out on this art artisan, you know, your consolation prize is like a cheap DX15. You know, those are going for 500 bucks. So, does this impact the price on those figures at all? Of course it does. Yes. New, new is always the new shit. So. Right. The new Especially so, the 06 you got there, bro. Because that comes with nice the wheel. Feature. This one comes with the wheel. It is. It's very nice. I, I love mm -hmm. it. Look at that. Look at that guy right there. That's really cool. Not too bad. Not too <laughs> bad, man. All right. Let me get out of this. All right. There we go. Shh. Uh, uh, 
Flavio mm-hmm. touched on it. From being a sneakerhead, he said uh, Hot Toys hit the treat uh, the Jordan treatment. He mm-hmm. loves for that reason. I 100% agree. I miss the days yeah. where I could just step out in front of a store and make sure my pair was in my hands when the store opened. So yeah, I feel you. Oh, you, you don't like the sneakers app, Loki? You don't like that I, app, bro? I never get nothing to come through. Bro. No, I'm, never. I I'm all for twenty thousand on that app. Hey, <laughs> Hey, Jazzy says 5,000 in the queue. 20 of those is me with 20 different browsers. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Um, see, I got into a whole discussion with a dude yesterday on a stream who was offended that I was shitting on scalpers. Like, come on, dude. You know what you're doing. Well, it just sucks for people that really do want the vigor. And, you know, seems scalpers like, you know, suck. Fact of life, though. Screwed over. Yeah. Scalpers, but, yep. Yeah, th- this uh, Arc Trooper is selling for upwards of like six six fifty on the uh, secondary market, which is nuts. They can have it, yeah. right? That's sneaker can term. have it. He's willing to pay that kind of money. Paid We're retail. in the age of the manufactured grill. <laughs> I, I, everybody just <laughs> let it be retail. known I paid retail <laughs> on this figure. Sure, you did. <laughs> Direct from sideshow from from my buddy. Did me a did me a huge solid. No. We're in the age of the manufactured grill, folks. Watch. You'll see. No way I'm paying six fifty for this for that trooper though. That's that's mm-hmm. just crazy. Like you said, D mm-hmm. earlier today, you said like the hype's gonna die down and it's gonna end up coming down at, at some point, probably below that, you know. Yeah, this this figure totally. listen, I, I respect it. It's a cool looking figure. I've I did my research all week last week and this week, trying to figure out what's so great about this trooper. And I'm I'm gonna tell you tell you how it is here folks it is a yellow and black trooper we're barely enough to call a backstory to warrant this being something that is quote unquote a grill for everyone. Wow. i'm sorry not sorry but it's i'm gonna say how it is because i was like hold on what am i missing what is so great about this here other than a very tiny detail instruction about who this trooper is and that's it i don't think that's enough i think this is a hype more than actual a figure that people genuinely are dying to have. I just feel this feels like to me, like Arena Boba Fett. You're or 100% all those other right. limited ones there. I think that's what 100%. it is. A year from now, this will be so much easier to get. It's just right now, it is a topic of conversation. And if you want to be one of the cool kids to have it, you're going to pay the price for it. This so, reminds me of like that scout trooper with the pauldron from the video game, but. Being that, I mean, this would have been, this would have gotten a little bit more interest, obviously, because it's totally different. But at the same time, I think this would have sat and it would have been overlooked. But because it's only fifteen hundred, that's what people, you know, they wanted to get this, and that's what made it spike. And I could be wrong, but that's just kind of I'm on Delo's side with this one. Thank you. Feels good. And sneakers got a little like smirk going on there. Yeah, because he wrote something. Okay. He's, he's, he's I'm saying what I, hold on Muggy a second. Is. Hold on a second. <laughs> I am saying what I've been saying all along this whole time. Limited edition stuff drives the hype. We That's talked about this. D1, we talked about Iron this a Man. bunch of times in the past. If it's limited, besides besides Warner Brothers 100, uh, Batman. That's the, that's the anomaly. <laughs> the anomaly that nobody wants. But um, Calvin, did you get that if, one? Which one? Uh, D100 Batman, blue and gray. The Warner Brothers I mean, 100. You're the only person I know that got that. I don't Wait, know no, anybody. No. You no, no. Did you? You oh, didn't, didn't get it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the, the, that's the one anomaly in the. Limited. I don't know anybody else that got that, but Graham. I think yeah, none it. of us got it either. Oh, yeah, none no. of us got it. No, I didn't put that. on that so hard. Don't put that on me. That's why you got that. <laughs> no, 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 Graham, you you were going back and forth, man. I'm gonna yeah, pull the. Was. No, Graham right. was like, like, this kind of guys. You look at your cut lights. Pretty nice. I remember that bad. No. It's oh, not bad yeah, in this color. What do you funny. think, guys? I remember bad. that. Mm-hmm. Bad. I must have been cold, blackout, drunk. That's funny. That's yeah. Hilarious. Right. <laughs> but this this is what this is what the hype does, man. The hype of exclusive stuff, fifteen hundred. This is what the hype does to people. And it doesn't matter. It does not matter what it is, especially Star Wars. Like it just doesn't really matter. It just the, the hype of fifteen hundred is just not a lot. You know what I mean? So that's exciting to have if it's fifteen hundred. It just sucks. It's like we talked about scalpers, fact of life. This is nothing new. Nothing new. 
th think about consoles when they came out ps5 and and xbox one or xbox series x nothing new scalpers everywhere selling these consoles for double retail graphics sure. cards all that like this is nothing new in the game of collecting anything um scalpers are a fact of life basically do they suck yes but it's it's a fact of life so just it is what it is to me personally when when it comes to collecting Ooh, but yeah this thing is like take. this is a scalpers are dude am, do you have like a do, am i wrong no <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm talking about tx i'm talking oh, about oh, TX. gotcha gotcha i'm like you yeah it's like the there's just nothing you can do more, uh people are way more than batman, batman blocked i don't know man <laughs> I will, say too, don't under, I will underestimate I like too, don't, you too. Uh, he did say watch her. Don't, uh, don't, Just that's another ass. thing is don't estimate, don't underestimate the clone, the clone lovers because there, I'm sure there's people out there who try to get multiple of these because they love collecting clones. Oh, for too, sure they are. You know, but that's had their friends doing it. But here's the thing though. I, my theory on this here is there was 1500 of these Oompa Loompa troopers and there was 1500 collectors that wanted it. All right, there's 1501. <laughs> there's 1501. Yeah. I look there's at this and I see nothing that looks like an Oompa Loompa. I'm wrong colorway. Bumblebee. I'm just, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just cracking on the name. I just, I'm, I think the name is funny. Oh, so I, oh, I, I renamed right. the, the name. Okay. That's, yeah. You had to explain it, but that's yeah. okay. Uh, uh, that's nah, Oompa Loompa. Anyways. No, I but mean, I think my it's cool. Point here, Listen, let me finish my, my sentence here before I, I freaking turn right over here. So there's 1,500 and two collectors that wanted this figure, okay? <laughs> and maybe 500 of them were taken by resellers or whatever like that, okay? I just don't think that even though this is a nice, this is a nice figure, I just don't see that there's enough massive appeal to make this a genuine grail. So, I mean, you have people who want this here, like Star Wars diehards, of course, but I don't think there's enough to warrant a secondary market that's going to drive up the value of this year because so many people miss out. I think it's more of a FOMO scenario here, and I think eventually over time when the hype dies down, there's going to be a bunch of these because you know what? I'll tell you right now. Listen, these colorways, these these uh, limited editions, the D100 Iron Man, I see that pop up all the time now, and it's no. not going for crazy money. Sorry, no. bud. No, I see it. Sorry, I know. D100 Iron Man. <laughs> D100 Iron Man. I see it pop up on the BSCs You're all the time. Comic book Spider Man. I saw it for retail today. That one. That one. D100 true, yeah. Iron Man goes for. Well, a lot. the list goes on. Freaking uh, blue chrome Batman. We were just talking about before the WB one. I see that bad boy all the time. So these gimmicky style repaints of already done figures. They're they're good for a minute, but none of them are truly holding long term value here. So, and the fact that, like I said, the the resellers are now heavy in on this stuff with us. Now we're going toe to toe with them. Like I bet you, there's going to be a lot of those people sitting on those there because I don't think as many people are going to pay six hundred dollars for this trooper as you think they are. That's just my two cents. I don't think they're going to. I mean, I don't think the six hundred yeah, for the two will, people who will, didn't get this trooper hold. <laughs> Hold strong. You are crazy, bro. You're, those two people who are still looking, hold oh strong. Your time will come. Just be patient. Would this sit if it was, uh, was if it was, uh, you know limited? the answer. You so know the probably answer. probably would sit, but the fact is, so like, I, I mean, I like, I said it last time we, when we talked about this, like, this is a perfect, if, if this is a perfect type of trooper to make limited because it's not going to have the large interest, right? It's a unique trooper design, but also, to be fair, this trooper is an actual, like, this is an actual trooper. This isn't just like, a, oh, we're doing a, a yellow colorway of a random art trooper. No, like, this is a true art trooper in Star Wars. So it's not like in a, a video game. It's, not, it's not like a Warner Brothers 100 Batman. Is it you canon? But I mean? in a video game, though, right? Yes, it's canon because everything Battlefront 2 is canon. But, um, so did he ever show up in the Clone Wars? I don't remember if this, was, this guy was in Clone Wars or not. Was he in Episode 3? Was he in episode? No. Three? Episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Was he in that movie? Mm -hmm. well, why does that matter? Did everybody what, play Battlefront 2? Live action. I, well, I have not played put Battlefront 2. Put a poll up here. Have, but... Put a poll up. How many All people right. in the chat has played Battlefront 2? Speaking of which, um, just to Wait, tie this back up to Jack Graham. Sparrow, 61% <laughs> said they are going for it, and 38% said they are not. So 
If we could get that number up to like 45% not going for it, I'd feel better about my chances. So just keep that in mind. Okay, starting to pull. Have you played is, Battlefront 2? This is the thing. If you play Battlefront 2 or not, it really doesn't matter too much. But I guess well, like this why is doesn't it? So, so this is a Battlefront 2 trooper. Great. But also for me, like I really like troopers. So somebody who collects troopers, this is a limited trooper. Like I said, like I've like been saying, more it's, than Batman. It's, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do I like troopers more than Batman? <laughs> this is yeah. kind of just like a weird question. <laughs> no, it, TX. They're not really comparable. It's like you're it's a main figure. Like troopers is just a different thing compared to like a named character. It's like not really a matter of liking one versus the other because it's a character versus multiple different Answer the question. Troopers. It's not really like a <laughs> question that I, this makes like <laughs> sense for me to answer. I don't know. Um it's like saying, do you like Luke Skywalker more than a bunch of troop, like more than troopers? Uh, I guess. Five is down one like, for um, but for me, like, yeah, I mean, the game is the game. I, I played a lot of the game, but also like for me, I really love troopers to have a trooper like this in my collection is really cool. I think it's cool. 1500 limited. This is a limited run. I get all your points. I, I get all the points like deal what you're making of like, is this a manufactured limited piece that they're doing to drive hype? Absolutely. Like they are doing this to I'm drive smart on hype. them too. They are doing like, what are we all talking about? What's everybody been talking about the company? Cause it's a limited release figure. I've said it in the past with all these like limited, limited releases is that like it drives hype back into hot toys. And what do they want right now is they want to drive all the hype back up. Right. Cause they're sitting on a lot of stock. Um, they want to manufacture hype. If you want to talk about manufactured grills, they want to manufacture hype with their, with their releases as well. So I think that that's a, uh, you know that's part of it too it's a smart business move and at the same time for me it's cool it's really cool that i'm going to have a limited trooper 1500 is it truly 1500 who knows like i don't know i got like three replacement bodies for comic spidey and that's like a what 2500 limited so yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know i don't really buy like the full-on limited number but at the same time like i'm happy to have this trooper would i pay if i would have missed out on this completely never had somebody Get it Wait for me. For would I be paying? Would I be paying six or six hundred fifty bucks? Six hundred, six hundred fifty bucks? Absolutely not. I think like yeah, no, fifty, no. What would I, be your top be... dollar? What's your top dollar, Steve? Top, I top probably... dollar. Hmm, maybe Loose like three. Loose the purse maybe, strings. What are we talking? Maybe, what are we talking? Like, maybe like Come three fifty max for three fifty max. For troopers, it's so like, and that's another thing is for me. We talking getting about troopers, taxes and shipping? Yeah, I'm talking like three fifty ship. 350 okay, shipped 350 shipped and that's high for like for me i kind of like troopers only have that's another thing is like like you talked about this isn't really a character trooper it's just a generic i shouldn't say generic but it's not like doesn't have a huge story right so like for me i put a cap on troopers you know Damn right this is the reason three you hold on a second that's not true you get one that's, you that get is one for not that. true because i didn't i didn't you buy three of them for that case, i so. didn't buy three of them i didn't buy yeah but you're about one stole i didn't my no Spider -Man. no it didn't this is long after they shipped out <laughs> get out of here with that <laughs> i listen i'm curious what loki's got to say about this here but i'm going to end this with you here I think if this wasn't limited, this would be right next to Lando for you. You know, I'm not lying about that. So Ooh, much. I said, that's, hold on a second. Yeah, hold on a second. A I, did say last week, to you. I did say last week, if this wasn't limited, I would not have tried to pick it up right away. But the fact that it's limited, you're not going to get a good chance to get it at retail. You're probably going to pay retail. There's a high chance you're going to have to pay above retail price if you wait on a limited piece. That's why for me, it's more worth like I'm going to try to get it now. If it wasn't limited, no, I wouldn't have tried to get it. You're absolutely right. But for me, limited is I like limited stuff in my collection. There's and for me, this like trooper, limited, yeah. Absolutely yep, this not. Troop, this trooper, retail price. If I can get it retail, great. I'm not overpaying for this though. This would be a chase figure down the line where I would try to get it at a decent price. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be going six fifty is just crazy. No doubt, dude. So. Loki, dude, thank you for being so patient, bro. I'm sorry. I had Thanks, to. Calvin. I gotta get Steve. I gotta give Steve stuff. Steve and I gotta get a debate in every. We, we every do at episode. least once an episode. I had to question <laughs> oh, his decision making because I feel like he's influencing. He him <laughs> Why are Loki, you, bro, you've been in the game for a long the time. First, this is not the first time, bro. No, no, no. This is like a. This is not your first episode, figure craft. You know this is every episode. <laughs> Loki, my man. I'm sorry to keep you hanging out there, man. But you've been in the game for a very long time. You've seen a lot of stuff. You've seen a whole bunch of these things go up in value, down in value, et cetera, et cetera. What do you make of this, man? Is this a, is this a legitimate figure that's worth what people are asking for it now? Or do you think this is just a hype machine? Hype? 
plain and simple. I don't I don't even know where this is from, to be honest. Battlefront two. Obviously, everybody knows that Loki from the game. Battlefront two. Everybody knows that. Right According to Steve, you know. Everybody. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I never saw. I saw Bumblebee. I was like, oh shit, they got they got a Bumblebee character. Okay, no clue. What it is. So, <laughs> Bumblebee. Yeah. I had I had no dog in this race, so um, I didn't even try. Yeah. Same here. I, I think yeah. I think I've tried on every single limited run outside of the Batman. Well, and oh no, I guess I didn't try on the Iron Man either. But um, this was the first one in a while that I didn't even care for to try. You know, it's just uh, limited or not it doesn't reach to me. So it's kind yeah. of where I'm at on it. But the quick turnaround is pretty amazing. Um, so people are already getting theirs. People already have theirs. Uh, why can't they do this with all of these limited figures? Is it just because it's a simple repaint, so all the parts are here? But like, wouldn't it be nice if they had this planned out prior? Like for, let's just say the Jack Sparrow, and then they come out with with um, the sideshow queue or whatever. You know the the randomized who's getting it and whatnot and then in like two weeks later you have yours like if it's limited wouldn't it be cool if they could at least add that into the into the mix too is it possible it'd be nice but i mean i i can't get a i can't get my toby they keep pushing that back so they can't get that. <laughs> he doesn't even have his batman yet my mm -hmm. batman is finally Jeez. shipped my my batman my toby my um Obi Wan, they pushed that back several months now too. So I'll be waiting on my Obi Wan Darth Vader for a while. But still, well, that only came out in February, so I'm sure I'll be waiting. For That's true. I'm still waiting for Batman. I'm still waiting yeah. on that Batman. You want me to pull on my my Obi Wan Vader again so you can see it? No, it's okay. I'll just get sad. Cool. I'll send you a picture. Later. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Batman just shipped out. My Batman just shipped out yesterday. Um, oh, lucky. Yep. Also, if anybody's looking for a standard Batman, Underground Figures, the standard Batman ships April 5th, estimated April 5th. The people who have it on order, there I talked to a couple of my, my buddies, and yeah, they got their emails today. So estimated ship day April 5th if you're looking for a standard Batman. All right, yeah, Jed, I close the poll. What do we got? How many people know about Battlefront? Who played it? Who oh, played this man. thing? All right, never played I want to see man. I want to see 70 votes. 90% yes, Fuck. I played it. Oh wait, are we talking about Battlefront 2? What console was that on? So this is like the reboot Battlefront 2. Like okay, that came out in 2017. So PS4 OG. and Xbox One, I think. Yeah, because the the Xbox One, the first Battlefront, I thought was kind of shitty, but Wait, what one? Battlefront? Like the OG or like you're talking about no. like Battlefront 2 on, on... And the Xbox One. Oh, 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 yeah. Like the. Reboot it wasn't that, even like a. It didn't have a story. Right. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people were online. mad about that. Yeah, it was okay. Battlefront 2 is better, though. 51% out of 25 votes say they have played Battlefront 2. That's it? 51%. There's a grill, though. How's it only 51%? Damn right, it's a grill. stand. <laughs> What's fifty one percent of the this will be a one grail person? To the fifth, <laughs> according to D Lo, this will be the the grail for the fifteen hundred and two. There gonna be two hunters. <laughs> There's gonna be two people hunting this figure two down. Two people out there, man, fighting the good fight, looking for yeah. a good deal yeah. on that bad boy. Yeah. Steve, why don't you shout out under underground? I got again. you. Yeah, undergroundfigures.net. Well, I can link you. Uh, you I can li I can link it uh, in the chat. There you go. Be quick. Hopefully, that someone doesn't uh, snipe it. I want to say hi to single songwriter. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming back here. Uh, I've been watching in slow mo uh, in slow mo containers falling off ships and listening to Duel of the Fates while seeing containers falling into the ocean. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it makes me like it gives me anxiety just looking at that. Like thinking about it. I don't. Know. I just can't. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, I think that would just about do it for tonight. Uh, unless you guys got anything else that's on your hearts that you uh, want to talk about? Speaking of the Batman, I know uh, Ray at Hogwarts. I believe he's getting his in as well. Oh, yeah. So I, 
I'd call them the the, the, the tale of two rays because they both come. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Underground got me my bike. The yep. other rays gave me my my figure. So and because until I got the conversion for the twenty two car, I never planned to even go down that line. So I'm I, mm. I was damn I was well behind the, the the line trying to catch up. Like oh shit, I need one. I need one. I need one. So they both came through for me on those. So yeah, they're both good dudes. Look uh, yeah. look for both of them. They both will take care of you. Yeah. Also, yeah, Underground right. has a RoboCop available from RoboCop 3 right now you in just, stock. You just had to say that, huh? RoboCop 3 is in stock. There's also a Mark There's also It's not there's too also late to correct three. mistakes, Loki. Right. There's also, there's also a Mark 3. They were disappointed. They always find a way to spend your money. Yeah. 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 Mark 3 is in stock and a like uh, RoboCop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, good um, stuff. Yeah, Anybody got any goodies coming in late, soon? Yeah, Anybody's got something right. on the way? No, I'm, I'm trying to uh, be steadfast here and hold my own and wait for Vader. Because I, um, I, I got Vader. Um, that Mars Toys Willy Wonka has got to be coming anytime soon. That was supposed to be quarter four of 2023. Hmm. I'm just kind of patiently waiting for that. In Art Batman, still undecided about that, but who knows? I, I doubt that'll come anytime soon, but you know just kind of in the back of my mind as well um so no i'm just waiting uh what about you guys uh, 95 batmobile should be tomorrow um hobo goblin from uh Hogwarts toys that comes in on <laughs> friday um side show i just got in uh, mando loop today so i've got a few pieces nice what are you do you kind of went through a little Spending spree, are you getting anything else? Uh, well, I'll get back to you tomorrow. It's my day off. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I'm bored. There's a, there's a comic store, right? And then there's a Lowe's right next to each other. So, like, I'll, I'll manufacture reasons. So, like, oh, look, there's a damn leak over there. I better get something to patch that up there. I'm going to go to the store real quick. I'll be right back. And then, you know, <laughs> grab that real quick. And it's like, oh. Since we're here, let's go to a comic shop. And, ooh, what do we have? So, I don't, I've heard that there's a there's a Padme at my co- local comic store. So, ooh, that's I'm gonna cop. look. I'm not decided buy. yet, but yeah, buy. Prob- I'm probably gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna probably buy that, but we'll see. But no, I got something cool coming in here. So, I just made my final payment. It looks like my commission is is ready. I got confirmation that my custom Batfleck head sculpts have been finished. So I saw that Justin's collections video a couple weeks back where he had these uh Zal modelers uh painted uh custom Batman head sculpts. So I'm gonna update my my Batman with those. They look fantastic. I can't wait to get those in hand. Um, but I also, while we were on stream, just got noticed that my black Adam will be ready soon. So mm. looks like my black Adam will be available next week make my final payment and uh yeah that's that's gonna be coming home i'm super excited about that that is in my opinion so far i think that is the lead candidate for figure of the year and yes i said that over vader because like i said there's two vaders coming out so i'm, I'm gonna cancel them out i think black adam's got a shot at taking figure of the year this year so we'll see with that i'm excited to get that one in hand how about you sneaker uh, my Black Adam's in Utah. <laughs> That's right. And it was in Illinois. So, and then they redirected so my it Black Utah. Adam shipped from Underground Figures. My Golden Armor Black Adam shipped on Wednesday. It was supposed to be at my house on Friday. It sat on Friday. Actually, I think it was supposed to be in my house on Saturday. It sat on Friday in Illinois, and then it didn't move till Monday. <laughs> and then Monday, I get a notification that it's in Utah, and there was a sortation, a sortation error. So he went all the way back to the West Coast, Gosh. and now he's going to be here on Saturday. So a whole week late, but I'm glad they found it. I'm just glad they found it. Cause, That's cool. Uh, yeah. So thankfully, and thankfully it's double boxed because I would imagine that the figure would just be absolutely probably just like <laughs> destroyed is what my what goes through my mind. So I'm curious to see like what it actually looks like when I when it arrives. But so yeah, I have Black Adam coming in, and then uh, my Arc Trooper comes tomorrow. Umbra comes tomorrow. Are you reviewing that? Review on that? Yeah, I'm going to review that for sure. Um, I'll probably review Black Adam as well. And then my Batman and Signal arrives on 
well it was supposed to arrive on friday but it got pushed to monday because of a delay so i am going to be getting it in april sad but yeah i got one thing coming actually it might even be here by the end of the week and it's my my batman begins jackson custom cape so yes. pretty happy about that i actually it's funny because i've been in, uh Calvin, do you have the Batman Begins figure? I do not. I've held off just because of how bad the sculpt is. Right. So I believe I have the Jackson Juice sculpt uh, ordered with Kit. Okay, and same here. Yeah, I was on that stream when you guys were talking about it, and you linked me up with that, so I have that on order too. So, so I'm just waiting for that before I buy the figure because I'm like, gotcha. I ain't going to I'm waiting on them to put it back on sale, as a matter of fact. So I got mine through the October sales on sideshows like super cheap. So I pulled the trigger and then waiting for some of this stuff. And in the meantime, just because the cape was so terrible, I, I ordered the 89 cape for, from um, Kit for when that 89 figure is released and actually put that on them and just have it around the back around the shoulders. And that even is an improvement from the stock cape that comes with that Batman. So um, once that comes, I'll actually switch it out again. But yeah, I'm also waiting for that um, that custom I, cowl. I can't remember if I ordered that one, and I got to check my orders. Yeah, check. I got the 89. Yeah, yeah, 89. I have that almost paid off, actually. So that one will be nice when that one comes out, because. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that one I, to, that. I did you know. get that with a collector zone, so you know you pay stuff right off with yep. him. So. Sure. Uh, yeah, that and uh, 40, 40, uh, Return of the Jedi Vader. Both of those two are paid off with him, so I'm just waiting on those to come in. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It, it's a gift. It's a it's a gift and a curse because the pay up yeah. front, like, eh, but then the oh. come to say, "Hey, it's on this way." You'd be like, "Hey, shit, okay." So it, it's a give and take. So I I just did one more quick poll here tonight uh, for figure of the year so far between Obi Vader, Black Adam, or other. Um, I'm not winning this one. <laughs> I know this one's for fact. Yeah, the X Boy says surprised you didn't put Return of the Jedi. I'm just putting those two that because they're 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 released. I'm just putting those released, and those are kind of like the most popular ones right now. There might be something that came out earlier, but um, these are like the hot figures now that and the ones that we've been debating in our Wolf Pack chat. So I just kind of want to see what you guys lean towards, and it looks like it's pretty close. So um, mm -hmm. we'll just let that go another minute or two longer while we kind of just. Um, plug our channels here um, so make sure you vote on that um, before the end of the show um, for me specifically so yeah did the Ma maju space mono i've done some blow lead in videos as well um, i was thinking what do you guys think of this in the chat and on the panel i'm trying to think of just a new video to do and it was like my top five hot toys pairings so or or um or sets so like batman, like batman robin with no well i mean oh. yeah that could be one yeah but um batmobile with batman returns the bad batch all together um the back to the future figures with the delorean you know batman with the bat cycle like a pairing or or um like a set and like uh, boba fett on the throne with fennec you know i'm just mm -hmm. trying to think of like yeah. my top five perfect like parents. pairings or sets yeah perfect parents that's a great idea so if I can, if I have time, that's going to come out this week. Otherwise, that might come out next week. The other thing I was thinking, I got that A New Hope Leia back in like September of last year, and I filmed a review, and I never edited it or <laughs> got it ready. And I don't know if I'll have time to get a video out because the kids are on spring break and I'm off Friday. So I'm almost wondering, do I just throw that together and do like a, um, a flashback review? I don't know. So that's, that's in the air as well. But... Um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that like perfect pairings. I like that that um, video there. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, Dilo, what do you got going on? Yeah, so I had to put the brakes on my video because come to find out, Dilo forgot he had to renew his license for his job. Mm. So he's been studying and cramming so he can take a test. Uh, but uh, once that is over and done with, I'm going to go ahead and get that video done for you guys. I have an idea for a new video. And I think it's going to be really fun. So I'm going to post a um, a picture to my Instagram tomorrow. And it's going to be a picture of one of my cases. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask the community if you guys want to help me um, pose my figure. So I'm going to take a picture of my case with the figures in there. 
and your job is to send me a picture of your same figure posed there. And if I choose it, I'm going to put that in my case the way you posed it. And whoever the winner is, I'm going to give them a special gift. Hmm. I like so it. That's the, so you guys are going to pose my display for me. So that's that's going to be the, the contest there. So I'll put a picture up tomorrow, which case is going to be. And then it's up to you guys to send me your pictures so I can pick which ones I'm going to copy your poses for and put in my display. Interesting. I like it's it. It's a win-win. It's yeah. a win-win, boy. You get something. I promise. Very nice. Sneaker, how about you? Yeah, so uh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to review all the probably... I'm going to review Black Adam. I'm going to review Umbra Trooper. Uh, I am going to review... Actually, I've been waiting to do my Jazz Inc. Uh, 22 Batmobile review. I wanted to get the Batman first, which is coming next Monday. So I'll probably I'm start the review. I've been looking for it to come out. So, okay, that's, that's why you've been holding out. Okay. Yeah, I've been holding out because I wanted to get my Batman <laughs> for the review. Um, also, my, my, uh, my buddy Juan... Uh, AK broke on toys sent me a Batman flare a USB Batman flare uh, as a surprise gift that I got in the mail so is that is that Joey's guy yeah yeah Juan is uh yeah his name on Instagram is broke on toys but he does like some LED he can do like his own like LED stuff so yeah it's really it's it's actually really dope it's an LED flare it's upstairs or else I'd show you but it actually flat it flickers too so yeah, like he he made it so it actually flickers ago, so I, I gotta hit him like that yeah, you could hit him up, dude. He'll for sure. He would for sure do you uh, do one for you. Um, but it's very cool. So I wanted to feature that like in my video too. So I'm gonna put together like jazzing Batmobile review with the Batman in it, and just kind of do like an all inclusive. Just get everything in that. I just want that to be just one big Batman video. Uh, so I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to actually doing that one because I feel like that one's gonna be pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm streaming on Copper Drop tomorrow. Joey invited me on, so I'll be on Copper Drop tomorrow, and then Friday I'm doing my show sneak peek. I'm going to have How You Figure on the show again. We did that show last week. So Friday, I'm going to be doing that. So a trifecta this week. Uh, pretty exciting. And then also, I just want to say one more thing, too, is I got a coupon code for 1-6 kit, actually. So uh, code sneaker, if you want $10 off your order, 1-6 kit. That's new. Uh, I talked to Kit, and he uh, graciously uh, offered me a coupon code for you guys. So, yeah, Very if you nice. are ordering any, anything from 1-6 kit, I see Adrian asking where you can still buy in our Batman. I think he still has in our Batman on his site on one six. Yeah, that's where that's where I ordered mine from. So, yep. but that was yep. a couple months ago now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Batman's January. still on there. Um, so yeah, if you want ten dollars off your order, use code go. sneaker in all caps. There you go. Batman Collectible says someone asked Jackson about his uh, begins call. He responded, "Should be April." That was yesterday, I think. Just thought you'd like to know, Night's Watch. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, because sometimes it's just this wide window, and you're just not sure exactly when it's coming. So it's good to have some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. And I, I've been really excited to to mod that Batman because, yeah, like Calvin said, it's the the cowl and the head sculpt is just. Not the portrait, but the, the actual cowl sculpt is just terrible. Like I just I still can't believe Hot Toys put that lack of effort into a Batman figure and actually thought that it was okay to to release something like that. So it's definitely a figure that needs to be to be modded and the cape and the, the cowl will help a lot. So yeah, my um my cape just got cleared through customs. So I would think maybe by Friday they might be here, Friday or Saturday, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, we got uh, Marcos from Collector's Own stopping in tonight. Thank you for being here, my friend. We're just kind of wrapping up here. But um, yeah, make sure. Let me just see here. It, yeah, let's see. So if you guys. Um, dang, i layering everything right here. Bear with me here. So I'm covering up you guys on the bottom there. But yeah, go to collectorzone.com. You can find um, one six scale figures there as well as statues. And uh, do have a 15% off code, JKW15, if you guys are so inclined. So go check that out as well. Thank you, Marcos, for stopping into the chat. Calvin, it was a pleasure having you on, my friend. Um, thank you for taking the time and, and joining us on the Wolf Pack. Um, Appreciate you guys. Having you're me on me. Instagram. Is there anything you want to plug just for yourself? Or you know what streams you're on during the week? Sometimes I feel like where aren't I? Like the guys tell me all the time, like there's nothing low key about you. I'm like, yeah, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> LW on Fridays. I'm not sure who's hosting this week, so 
I'm sure they'll get it out to you guys. Um, pretty much that's it for the rest of the week, I believe. Um, I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about it. I know it's last minute for you guys, but um, CaliCon coming. Um, have you guys heard of that? I don't think so. You do? You say that? May, right? We're having a um, collector's meetup in California here, uh, Star Wars weekend, May 2nd through the 5th. So we have every day with a different itinerary going on, ending off with a barbecue here at my house and um, just getting uh, just getting the guys together. So anybody who's um, it's, it's free for all. So anybody who wants to, if you've got people flying in from all of the states and uh, all the guys here in SoCal, we're uh, just getting together just to hang out. So if you guys can make it, hit me up. I can get you the details. I know it's last minute, but um, for anybody in the chat uh, that's got questions, just let me know. Um, I know myself, Jay Feezy, Marco One Six Fix, uh, Mario Professoro. Um, we you can hit any of us, and we can get the info for you guys. So that's really the big thing that we're um, trying to iron out right now. So we're what, about a month away. So looking forward to that. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm that just mad. I thought awesome. of this clever name right now as, as we're signing off. So I just put it up real fast. Yeah, sir. The low key the collector. Anybody see that? See what I put up oh, there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't. I thought about like the last second. I'm like, damn it! What a good name that would have been for tonight's show. Oh well. Oh, that would have been good. Well, you still got it on there, so that's good. I did it. Uh, oh, yeah. cool. Send you the link on Instagram where he commented about the begins call. Cool. Thank you. I'm gonna go check that out then. All right, guys. Well, yeah, we are going to call it a night from here. So, again, thank you guys for sticking with us tonight. Thanks for being active in the chat. I do have to close this poll, though, before we go, because I'm really bad at forgetting about that. And it is 32 votes. 53% said Vader. 31% said Other. And 15% and said Black Adam. So, interesting. I thought it would be closer than that, honestly. It was close. They, they said the Other Black Adam. That's what, right. it was. That's what they picked. <laughs> the mob has spoken. But um, yeah, we will be back next week. It looks like we're going to have Shane from One Six Figure Focus on. And then, like I said, we're trying to get Brian from Maju Space on in the next coming week. So I'll keep you posted on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe out there. And we'll see you soon. Too sweet to everybody out there. Cal keep breaking, motherfuckers. Throw it up for us, Calvin. Is that what you're um, bricking. Sweet. Come on. You got it. There it is. He did it. Oh, my God.